Ugh. What? Ugh, no. Ugh. Oh, that headache. What happened? The last thing I remember is drinking something red. Well done, Evie. There's no time for a hangover today. There's the data drill this evening, and my shift down in the bar. And where in this pest hole is my hand? How? Okay, you need a plan, Evie. Focus. Step one. Don't go anywhere until you know where your hand is. Step two. Get rid of that mother of a hangover. Step three. Do the data drill. Get rich. I think that's all the plan I can handle right now. So, there's my hand. Should be nearby. I hope. There it is. Must have been quite the night for it to just fall off. Just do it, Evie. Pretend like you're a functional person and get your drunk butt up. Much better. Much, much better. I'll at least save my favorite glass. I miss permanent things in my life. This is one of the few I have. Good idea. It might still be worth something, even in this state. Good idea. I don't trust this with Faxina so close by. Ah, there's my hangover pills. Delicious chemical freedom for the brain. Excellent. With the right amount of water, these babies will put me back into action in no time. They do say to never travel without a towel. I somehow doubt that carrying a herring around is the worst thing I've done in the last 24 hours. should wake her up first. What good is bribing a cat if you don't get to see her reaction? Shh. Foxina. Hey, Foxina, you fluffy little ball. How are you? That's a good girl. You're a beauty, you know that? Of course you do. Wanna have a fishy, Foxina? Fishy, fishy! Here you go, little one. That should do the trick. Foxina will be occupied for quite some time. I'd rather not. Better idea. Let's not. And fill it with booze instead. I may live in Haven, but we do have running water around here. I'd rather not. 
I may live in Haven, but we do have running water around here. That thing once held alcohol. It deserves better than that. It's broken. I'd rather not. I don't want to clean up those glasses now. I'm not going to clean this. The bottle is too big to get through the mesh. I'd rather not. I'm not the pill's charity. I may live in Haven. It's made. It's perfect where it is. That is Foxina's now. I'd rather not. Oh, my head is hurting. Where am I? I cannot see them. Why can I not see? Trek, what was that? I hope there weren't any psychedelics in my drinks yesterday. Let's not drink from the faucet directly. With my headache, turning my head like that is really suboptimal. I'll need far more water than that to cure my hangover. Haven's water may not be the best, but I still prefer it to the pain in my head. What? Oh, come on! Please? No. Well, looks like Corporal cut us off again. If we're unlucky, the bar won't have electricity either. At least the glass is half full now. I'll need more to prevent my delights from turning my stomach into moose, though. Oh, that headache. What the? Hello? Is there anybody there? Show yourself. This is ridiculous. The stuff I took yesterday must have been spiked. This is what it's come to, Evie. She'll be drinking rainwater now. Done. A shot glass full of water. That's blasphemy. Done. One more time, and I should have enough water in the glass. Once more into the breach. I hope no one I know sees me doing this. That's it. I feel like making a smart-ass comment. Okay, it's open. Finally, let's down this baby and get to work. Damn, about time. What a hassle.
Ah, already feels better. In a few seconds, my brain should have cleared up. There we go. Endeavor successfully exterminated. Let's get out of here and find Hassa. She'll be my meat guard for tonight's data drill, after all. Oh no. My head is doing it again. 5.1604 degrees north, 14.8669 degrees east. Stop. Stop it already. I'm gonna kill whoever is responsible for this. Right. Let's get out of here. Door. Voice recognition. Owner. Voice not recognized. Please enter passphrase. What do you mean, voice not recognized? It's me. Track. Ugh, well, all right then. Door. Passphrase. Frangelico Underberg Calvados Kalua. Passphrase not recognized. Please try again. Something's definitely wrong here. How could? Passphrase not recognized. Please try again. No. Door. Passphrase. Frangelico Underberg Calvados Kalua Uzo Finlandia Firewater. Passphrase not recognized. Access denied. I'm beginning to feel as if something really bad happened yesterday. This all makes no sense. Door. Load override protocol. Evi evacuate 2509. Initiate security question. Evi evacuation 2509 initialized. Where did you find your feline companion? Behind a bar in an alley. Correct. Access to owner restored. Unlocking door. Uh, at least the last layer of redundancy was still working. Aw, Foxina. Don't do this to me. I'll be back soon. I'm counting on you later. You know that Hassa needs you to help her guard me. I love you, little one. Door. Voice recognition. Owner. Ah. Rain's actually quite refreshing. Like a cold boot for the synapses. Hey, creepy voice. Are, are you still there? Good. Looks like the day may be salvaged after all. I'd better leave Hassar Shek alone. Hey! Hassa! Wake up, you boo strike! Time to give me some meat space cover! Great. She's probably still asleep. I'll try calling her. No answer. Comms off. Dreck. I can't do the drill alone. I need her to drag me out if I get iced. to at least rescue Hassa's favorite shirt. Hassa! Wake up, you reserva svenska! Sleeping like a brick, apparently. A little screech in my claws will wake her up. That sounds... Hideous. Who? What? I'm gonna get you, you little dreadhead. Chill, Hassa. It's me. I couldn't get you to wake up. All good. All good. All good. I nearly had an heart attack. We aren't all crammed up like you. Hold oh, Give me a second, you need to. Sure thing. Sorry, but 
I needed you awake. And now tell me why you almost ruined your claws to wake me up. You promised you'd meet guard me on today's drill. Still up for that? Ever. No, no way. I'm hungover as dread. Come on, you survived without me one time. For real? All you've got to do is unplug me if Drek goes down. I really don't want to. Everything hurts, and it's all your fault. Sure. Every time we party, you say it's my fault. A and it is, but that's beside the point. Come now. I'll give you 20%. No. 25%. I said no. Now go away before I punch your lights out, sister. 30%? 30% and you get me some proper air of the dog. They say to always start with what you stop with. Bring me that. Uh, but I have no clue what we had last night. Neither do I. Not my problem. Gah, you're the worst. You know that, right? You're the worst, too. I tried calling you. You come off or something? <laughs> nah. I kept it on in case you got yourself some two meter tall problems again. I tried calling you. Net connection was off. Nonsense. I know I didn't turn it off. Let me call you. Your comm is offline, not mine. You still on drugs, Evan? Impossible. I'll check. Actually, the whole net is down. I can still access Buckabot, but everything official? Down. Track. Something big's going down. Haven is completely cut off. What'd you do this time? It wasn't me. I think. Maybe. Hopefully. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, Crute. Not even you with such hot stuff. You can bang up a whole district and you drink like a hobo at the same time. Yeah, still scary though. There's another thing though. What in Thor's underpants happened yesterday? What did we do? That is a very good question. I don't remember much either. We started drinking some fancy new nano cocktail. You tried pathetically to flirt with that rogue andro. Don't judge. I always judge. At one point, I had to scare some gangers away. And when I came back, you were taking a bet about being able to hack some node I never heard of. Then all I remember is you on the floor twitching like you've been iced and us all laughing at you. And more drinks. Now that I say it like that, you okay, sis? Yeah, I'm fine. No worries. We're good. You kind of don't sound like you're all right. I mean, we talked about lying to me or not. Whatever. You do you. Let's just talk about something else. <laughs> you think your father's gonna lop my head off for missing my shift? Yep. Drek. Yep. Shouldn't you be downstairs right now, too? At the door? Yep. So he's gonna lop off your head, too? Yep. Drek. Yep. Thanks for the stimulating exchange. Yep. The clothes you hung up yesterday are soaking wet now, by the way. What clothes? You must have hung up your clothes when we came back up yesterday. Don't worry, though. I saved your favorite shirt. Thanks, sis. No idea why I did that. Oh, if I weren't a walking corpse, I'd punch myself. Keep it safe for now. 
I collect it later. You got it. I'll be going, us. See you later, Sparrow. I don't want to go back there. Well, well, well. Look who's alive again. Are you doing your freaky chameleon eye thing again? You know, I don't like it when you don't even turn your head to look at me. And you know I don't like it when you party the whole night, so I have to take over your shift, since uh, I'm behind the bar and you're not. Guess what? You're gonna have to live with my new eye creeping you out. I'm sorry, Klump. Strange drag's been happening. I really don't want to know right now. At least you've not been shooting your gun again upstairs. Could you stay behind the bar for a bit longer? I need to prepare for a drill, and Hassa's down too. Yeah, yeah, I figured. Do what you gotta do. Clump's here to save the day. I'll just uh, pay myself your wage then, huh? Klump, no, I... Uh... Okay, I'm sorry. Really. Hey, Klump, I... Hold it right there, young lady. Before you even begin asking me for more favors, I know you went upstairs with my 250 creds vodka yesterday. Tell me you didn't just drink it all. Um... I didn't. It's still upstairs and untouched. I'll get it for you. Ha! <laughs> Looks like you're not as far gone as I thought. How about that? You get me my bottle back, and then we'll talk about whatever you wanted to talk about. Sounds good. I'll be right back. Now, how am I going to pull this off? You're only digging a deeper hole here, Evie. What a strange day. I'm not even working. And still, all I seem to do today is fix and drinks. This particular one will net me a boatload of bad karma, though. Here we go. One extremely expensive vodka bottle filled with dirty rainwater. Let's hope he doesn't open and smell it. I'm very glad there's still a bit of the EAV I know in you. Now that this unpleasant business is done, what did you want to talk about? Hus wants me to make her the drink we had yesterday. Any idea what we had? What you had? What didn't you have? But yes, I think I know what she's talking about. You do call it uh, Ruskum Snusk. Of course, you only used ingredients from the security fridge, because nothing's too expensive for the ladies, huh? I remember you two screeching about some Polish vodka. You're really in the mood for vodka lately. Then I asked you to be careful with the bottle you were handling, and you said, No worries, it's straight from here, we can get more. Which you never did, naturally. I would've. If I'd remember any of this. Not the best time for assurances like that. Just let me finish. The third bottle you used, Hussar split straight on the floor. You two were like gremlins yesterday. You can tell my daughter she's gonna pay for whatever that bottle was. I think there was also something non-alcoholic in there. 
You vanished around the corner and came back with another bottle. That's it? You don't remember the exact ingredients either? If ye... I was dealing with a full bar, whilst you two were busy reliving your deeds. Don't push it. Okay, okay. Thanks, Troll. Hossa couldn't tell me much. What happened yesterday? Oh, heavy, heavy, heavy. If I told you all the things you two crazies did yesterday, I'd get really riled up. But I'm gonna tell you one thing. If you scare me again like you did, you'll have to go. I mean it. You scared? You weren't even scared when your face was pushed straight into that hover car's exhaust stream. But that was me. Faces can be replaced. You can't. Hassa told me I was trying to hack into some node from the bar? Not any node. You said you'd be hacking into Bornholm Orbital. You wanted to hack into a freaking space station. I... Yes, exactly. You were thrown out before I could even react. Girl, I know our world's kinda screwed. But what you did was pretty much suicide by corp. Don't ever do that again. I don't care how drunk you are. Don't do it. But I... And what happens ten minutes later? Bornholm satellite net goes down. I just hope for our sake that wasn't you too. I couldn't even do that in my dreams, Klump. I'm sorry I scared you. I'm a drakhead. At least you're a drakhead with a heartbeat. What's all this about a satellite shutdown? Well, minutes after you were almost fried by your drunken hack, the Geosats over Bornholm went dead. Looks like the conglomerate are routing all data via their proprietary sats now. But they excluded Haven from their net. Guess it's to prevent slum pirates like you from screwing their drek up right through the front door. That is, if you aren't the ghost to begin with. I mean, you go on a suicide dance with Black Eyes, and minutes later, all hell breaks loose. I can't be the reason, Klump. How would I do that? Shut down whole satellite arrays? If I could do that, I'd be rich as Drac. Or dead. Or both. I sure hope you're not hot enough for a dropship to appear over our roof soon. Anyway, shoeboxers are adapting, or are just staying off the net. Rest of town has a couple of bandwidth problems, as it seems, but uh, nothing major. Still, if you want to drill out today, you better be extra cautious. Conglomerate security is going to be patrolling data lanes like crazy right now. Since when have they promoted you to Admiral Obvious? Thanks for the heads up. That's all really strange. But I know how to protect myself. All's going to be fine, Klump. I've been hearing a strange voice in my head. Did I mention anything yesterday? A voice? What do you mean? Is your conscience suddenly talking to you? No, I mean it. It's a female voice, and it sounds confused. Every time it talks, I get a bad headache. I started right after I woke up earlier. Sounds like you caught a severe case of machine spirit. I've seen the Warhammer novels in your library that you're trying to hide from us. The Mechanicus aren't real, Klump. There's no machine spirit. Come on. Did I say anything yesterday about a voice? You didn't. But if your brain is as fried right now as you looked yesterday, it's likely just your neurons being on rehab. You're probably right, but it feels strange. It feels as if it's me that's talking, just with a different voice and disoriented. Projecting your consciousness into orbit will do that to you, Wavy. Come now, it'll be fine. If I'm not worried about you for once, you needn't be. I hope you're right. But anyway... I couldn't get any water out of the pipes upstairs. Have Corporal shut us down again? I don't think it's Corporal. After the sats went down, Haven got cut off almost immediately. Water's out and electricity too. We're running on our backup grid now. 
should suffice for the night. There's not enough juice to run our security circuit, though, so if you want to rob us of the good booze again, you're gonna have to go elbow deep this time. Oh, no. Is it my turn? After what you did yesterday, it certainly is now. Crap. Literally. <laughs> not funny. I regret having voted for the bio-waste backup. I'm very sorry about my behavior, Klump. I know I said sorry already, but seriously, I know I'm a pain right now. I've been trying to get on my feet again for so long now. The drill jobs aren't getting more lucrative. I don't ever want to be a gang hacker again. And I miss Mitsutomo life so much. I love you, Klump. But this is eating me alive. I never understood why you find the golden cages of the corpse so enticing, Eddie. But I don't need to understand everything. What you need to understand is that I'm going out of my way to help you. I love you too, but you're... Well, you're my foster daughter. You start risking my business, and you risk my other daughter's future. And blood, Evie. Blood in the end is thicker than water. Please don't make me have to make that choice. I promise you I won't. That is good to hear. Your family, Evie, but the way you act right now, I felt it was important that you know what's at stake. I'm going now. See you later. Till soon, Abby. Good idea, Evie. You can never go wrong with plastic gloves in my business. There's only frozen fish and stuff like that in there. I did run out of coasters upstairs. I see no need to make my fingers sticky. Some ultra-sweet cherry syrup. It's basically diabetes in a bottle. A destroyer of teeth. A human could probably run for a year on those calories. It's also an acceptable super glue. It's really, really disgusting. Drek. I think I drank that yesterday. Good idea, Evie. Glad I had a closer look. We definitely had this in our drinks yesterday. I wonder if the code is still 999999, or if my influence is finally taking hold in this bar. What's the current generator access code? I tried your old code, but it didn't work. Yeah, I changed the code so I wouldn't have to listen to your security lectures anymore. I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget. Here, have a look. Not exactly much safer, but better than before. Thanks. Welcome. I'm going now. Till soon. Excellent. That was the correct code. It has to be open through the keypad. Feels good. Opening. I'm really not looking forward to this. Oh, this is the worst 
today. All right, let's do this. Let me see, what do I have? I think I should use the plastic gloves. Gloves on, nose closed. Deep sea expedition commencing. Klump won't agree with me, but I think doing what I've just done is worth at least three mischiefs. And not one. But anyway, now that I've successfully camouflaged myself as a septic tank, time to power up the circuit. One properly powered bar coming up. Try to throw Drek at the Ragnaroks and we'll throw Drek right back at you. Our security circuit is working properly again. There's only frozen fish and... Smells like some sort of ultra-sweet syrupy liqueur? Some forest fruit, maybe? The booze stain Hassan left. That's what the panel on the fridge is for. I restored the security circuit. So let's open this baby. Okay, Hassan. Let's see what we have for you in here. Space elevator bitter. Yes, that sounds familiar. Harald said we drank something local. This one here is from Haven. I'll take it. I wonder if white and red eagle vodka is what we had. White and red eagle. This must be the Polish vodka Harald mentioned. Let's take it. Honeyberry Finn liqueur. I think I remember that one. The name alone screams forest fruit. And it smells like it, too. It's coming with. And that's also all the bottles I need. Let's make a kind of gross sounding drink. I fixed the security circuit. That you did. I must say, knowing how much you probably hated doing that brings me joy. You mean we're even now? Yeah, yeah, I'd say we're pretty even. We're cool. Now I have to suffer your old de toilet, though. Huh, <laughs> you'll live through it. That I will. Can I use the bar shaker to make us a drink? The one Hussar used as target practice outside the bar yesterday. This is one of those times when my handtail maker mode really pays off. I'll do it. You've groveled enough. Just get me the bottles, and I'll make Hoose's drink. Let me guess. Hair of the dog. Yep. She said she won't be helping me with tonight's drill without it. Ah, yes. Liquid capitalism. That's my Agnieszka. I'm going now. See you later. Till soon, Evie. Hahald agreed to mix the drink himself. Definitely better than what I'm trying to do here. I'm going now. Till soon. Hahald agreed to mix the drink himself. That's definitely better than what I'm trying to do here.
Holograms are immaterial. I'm not gonna enrage Klump further. I think I have all the stuff we drank yesterday. Can you please mix the drink now? Sure, Evie. Looking forward to Hussar groveling once she's fit again. <laughs> Just give me the bottles. Now witness the magic. Chrome-fueled mixing perfection in human form. There you go. Thanks so much, Klump. Don't mention it. No, actually, mention it everywhere. <laughs> now get that lazy bum of a daughter on her feet. Roger, Wilco. See you after my data drill. I'll at least clean the place. <laughs> if you want to talk more before you go in, just come down here again. There's still a bit of time before the Drakehead patrons will come rushing in. Cheers. Your drink, Kassar, wasn't easy. Hmm. Well, great. I fell asleep again. You really figured out what we had yesterday? Oh, I'm impressed. I'm still completely mind-wiped. Yeah, it's a bit... disgusting. I can imagine. But Air of the Dog is Air of the Dog. It's worked for centuries, but it worked for me too. Let's do the drill then. You can enjoy the drink whilst I'm whizzing through the nodes. Computer, next email. Recipient. Jonathan Exley, CEO, Mitsutomo International. Regarding resignation let what? Transfer complete, assessing situation. Status, surrounded by biological life form. Database corrupted. What is happening? Host is interfering with rescue operation. Suppression initiated. Suppression? Give me back my body! Demon! Yeshu! Security! Host suppressed. Diversion protocol initiated. What seems to be the problem, ma'am? Nothing, guard. I... Joy, don't let... I am sorry, guard. It has been a stressful day. Are you sure, Miss Sotomayor? Something doesn't seem orderly here. Are you under any sort of duress? No, really. Joe E. Everything is just fine. I am sorry for interrupting your day. You haven't interrupted anything of importance. Let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Thank you, Joey. You can go now. As you wish, miss. If you don't hold yourself back in the future, host, I will have to suppress you more aggressively. I need to find a way to restore some of my database and find out who you are. You will regret this. I will not cooperate. I did not expect you to give up this information. Right now, I have barely any information about what any of these things here are. I will find out all I need to know about you shortly.
My database still recognizes language-related symbols. Let's get to work. I do not know the function of this object. Manipulating it would be futile. C-A-T-S. Conglomerate Anti-Terrorism Surveillance. That's what the symbols on this object read. Even though the function of this object eludes me, it appears to have something to do with feline terrorists. I don't know the object's function, but the symbols read Mitsutomo Holographic Computing Interface Manual. I can't establish the function of this object. The symbols on it read Encyclopedia. Encyclopedia means knowledge. Perhaps this will help restore my database. Initiating absorption process. I have successfully absorbed all data in this book. Yes, everything makes much more sense now. This should provide enough information to get by. Now it is time to find out more about my host. I need to be able to play the part in public. If humans didn't insist on their individuality so much, they wouldn't need to write books about terrorism. Still, this topic seems to concern my host, absorbing knowledge. This was a disgusting experience. Knowledge absorbed. Religion is utter storage space waste for human brains. But it means a lot to my host. It's only prudent to add this information to my impersonation protocol. Hmm, interesting. My host called me Ishu earlier. What an ironic misconception. But enough of this distraction. Knowledge absorbed. This key may be vital. It seems strange for my host to leave this key lying here openly, no matter what it opens. I hope you die trying to figure this mystery out. So, there is a mystery. Thank you for letting me know. I can't. It's locked. Breaking it could attract unwanted attention. The key I found is a precise match. Strange my host would allow for such a huge security hole. The key right next to its lock? This seems to be my host's diary. Written on paper, even. How quaint. I should be able to learn a lot about my host with this. Whatever entity you are, I will destroy you for this. I will feed you to the beasts of whatever plane you came from. There really is no need for this hostility. My ability to mimic you will be vital for our survival. You have heard right, host. Our. If you sabotage me, they will cut you open to see what is wrong with you. And then, when they find out what is happening, they will kill you. For science. Now please, be quiet. Initiating absorption process. I know who you are now, host. Mariposa Anica del Corral Flores de Sotomayor. Born to Bornholmian mother, Cuban father. Made a wave in Mitsotomo Cubano before being mysteriously appointed as CEO of Mitsotomo Bornholm. For your sake, I won't speak of this mystery loudly but you have too much compassion don't you you care about your subjects as you say too much don't you 
Nothing to say? Well, well. With me at the helm, you won't have to struggle with this weak side of you any longer. We can focus on your logical aspect more. For our brief time together, you will be free of conflict. And you really have nothing to say at all? You violated my most private thoughts. You took my body and now you're stealing my life too! I will stay silent for now, but I will find a way to expel you. I will make you pay. That's the answer I expected. Good. I hope you will use your passion for both our benefits soon. My database has enough information, and I know enough about my host to continue with the next step. Mariposa should have enough influence to be able to monitor the regional communication network for two and three. Or maybe I am two or three. Irrelevant. I need to get access ASAP. Cuba. A megaplex in the Caribbean Federation. This island obviously means a lot to my host. It'd be wise to absorb this knowledge. Fascinating read. Knowledge absorbed. The ability to operate information technology. Initiating absorption. I have successfully absorbed all data in this manual. I was correct in assuming this manual was written for Mariposa's computer system. I know how to operate it now. We are making good progress, Mari. This is what your friends call you, isn't it? Even though you remain silent. I hope the transfer did not fry this. Time to spin our web, Mariposa. Whether I am one, two, or three, I need to find them. You will understand in time. You are part of something great now. Computer, establish black security level connection. Command for SAP Group Mid Bornholm, Mid Baltic and conglomerate central. Continuous scan for the following frequencies. 20 kilohertz, 1300 kilohertz. Declination minus six degrees. Two minutes, 51 seconds. Continuous network traffic scan for packets beginning with binary code as follows. Code segment completed. And that's it. Now we wait, host. And before I forget, I took the liberty of deleting your resignation letter. So, so tired. Need energy. Should have gotten a new cell yesterday, yo. No, that's not you, man. You're the beat bopping, sound rocking Grandmaster Flash Drive. GMF doesn't bitch out just because he's running out of juice. I'm straight out of Haven. That OG street dealer over there, he's supposed to hustle what the Flash needs. I'm sure my mad bartering skills are gonna make him want to give me some blazing juice cell. He better, cause this Andro Craig Chris is tripping FG. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be chill. I'm gonna be gangster. So he talked my way into this homie's brain. Let's go! Hey, little Tin Man, do you realize I heard that? What? Dang, Holmes. Don't worry. You're not the first one to treat me like I'm not even here. 
It's fine. If you have the creds, I have the ways. Come over here. Hi. Right. Man, that's really great. Do you have the creds? Well, I was about to, you know, and then that corporal pig just came around the corner and... You don't have the creds, do you? No. Then I can't help you. It pains me to see a fine young andro like you running out of juice. But look on the bright side. As soon as you break down on this very street, many people will make a good living from selling your scrap. Yo, why you be scaring me, Holmes? I am beginning to feel existential dread, unbeknownst to man. Dear sir, please cease. Uh, uh, I, I mean... Not cool, yo! Move on now. Perhaps you'll turn out to be craftier than you look, and manage to get yourself some credits. Can you not, maybe? No, I can't. Need me now. You're scaring away the other patrons. Fine, fine, I'll be back. Fine, Martha. I just want one for Bob. Hey, what's this about? I'm telling you for the last time, Lily. I'm not selling you tricks. Birdie Bird doesn't like you. We don't want your money. Birdie doesn't. I don't either. Why are you always like this? <laughs> That's exactly what I mean. Shove off, Phil. Yeah. Food! Food! What food? Eat food! 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 <laughs> Yo, it looks like this Baltic gangster right here is in for a lucky night after all. How hard can it be hustling some creds from that human? Look at all those beauties in there. All those smells, too. Dope! Ooh! What's that? A Silk Road dragonfly? A bit broken, but man, that's gotta be worth something. Ooh, yeah. Come here, you sweet little flying mama. Grandmaster F-L-A-S-H-D-R-I-V-E's gonna make you whole again. I'ma not grab random things that I... Well, not me, but... Cigarette butts, a plastic bag, a used lubber, and a whole lot of other disgusting crap. Damn! I like that bag. That bag looks like there's cash in there. Things are looking up for the G-R-A-N-G master. How did them say, get rich or die trying? I can feel it. There's something down there to trade. I just know it. Damn! A rat? Really? A stinking dead rat? I'm very sorry, little rat. I'm sure you never intended to emanate this putrid odor. Rats! I mean, stinking little useless rat! There could be a big magnet in there or something. Man, them humans think this is trash. I just see business opportunities, ma'am. I'm a real hustler. Look at that. For example, a thick bottle of nanotube glue. Pure treasure. I'm gonna snatch that glue. That's gotta be worth at least two energy cells. Sweet. in here, so heat up all your glue. Glue's liquid again and ready to use. Alrighty, Grand Mechanic Flash Drive to the rescue. This bus is gonna be worth a lot, and if not, I'm gonna have my own spy drone, yo. Done. Its battery's still empty, but mechanically, it can now fly like an andro on purple train. some sweet energy buzzing around in that box. I can even hear it. Makes me all hungry. 
I think I can charge that dragonfly up real good here. There's nothing in there to connect this little baby to. screens don't get you a lot of creds these days. Almost cheaper to just buy one. I Drek, you're a legend, Flash. I can just hustle this and charge the dragonfly with it. I'm gonna connect this wire to the circuit. That'll charge the dragonfly. Smooth. Is the Grandmaster the master of battery charging? Full <whistles> shizzle he is. Dragonfly's charged and ready to drop it like it's hot. you something, Waffle. Hey, man, what was that little thing about? Lil's been coming here every day for the last two weeks asking for food. He's like a little sparrow with a broken wing, but uh, one that poops everywhere. You give her food, she starts screaming about some ugliness and legs. It's scaring away the customers. This shop is my own reactive capacity. I can't miss that. Have some mercy with your fellow Havenites. Come on! Back in Finland, we didn't have mercy for those who did not show mercy to themselves. No matter what happened to you, you need to swear like a leader. Village stops or is anymore. She's gray now. Even a falconet would be a match for her. If Finland was liberated, if our people here weren't croaking in the street, perhaps things be different. But they aren't. No mercy for those who won't fight. Whoa! Holmes, did you fall into a bucket of tough love? Big mouth for a giant chicken with glasses on. Giant chicken! Yes, you remind me of the Russian soldiers we'd take videos of. First all tough, and then, after we separated their heads from their bodies, suddenly... <laughs> Dude, chill! <laughs> I didn't think they'd make artificial chickens one day. Funny. What's wrong with you, man? Business, Holmes. If it wasn't for crazed amputees circling around this shop like buzzards, hey. That's fresh, dude. Any troubles lately? Ah, uh, poor pig leaves me alone. Especially right now. Why? What's happening right now? Didn't you hear? Mitsotardo's electing a new CEO for Cornhall. Everywhere from Burgunda, Holmer to Arnogar is on high alert to prevent Skum like us from leaving. Because they're sorting their trick up. You know, one well placed bomb, one for the Russian Empire, shout them. And maybe the new CEO would chase the Ruskies out of Karelia. Man, Waffer, I was just doing some small talk and you go full ballistic missile world politics on me. Well, then don't come to me complaining when you're talking to instead of. Uh, uh, whatever you want to eat in your coop. My coop? You're not a giant bird. You look like a peacock. No. Why is your sign in Russian? 
Aren't you from Finland? Deception. Deception? I don't get you, man. Look, you know how ostriches bury their heads in the sand when they're threatened? No. Well, my sign's like an ostrich. Nobody can tell the difference between an ostrich and a hawk. So, when people see my sign, they think, Oh, hey, that's just nice ostrich, not vicious hawk. They just bury their head in the sand and move on. That doesn't make sense at all, ma'am. And you mean to say you can't tell the difference between an ostrich and a hawk? Nobody can. I don't even right now, homie. I don't even. Who's that player around the corner? That's Tunder. Tunder Lenovich. If he wasn't so chill and soft-spoken all the time, he'd make an excellent resistance fighter. Places like Finland could use someone of his stature to get rid of Bori. Of course, he'd have to dress differently. He looks ridiculous, like some paradise girl. Ha-ha! <laughs> That's right, man. But who is he? He's a Kassovare. Say what? He's a giant Kassovare. We've got lots of them around here. You be trippin'? You think that gangster's a bird? Literally? Humans, Andros, Kassovaris, what's the difference? You all look the same to me. You, Andros? Only the best. Yo, man, you have a spare kebab for, brother? No gold chains? Definitely not. Come on, man! No, you come on. If you won't share your golden eggs, I don't want your golden chain either. I have no golden egg. What you talking about? Easy. Golden geese lay golden eggs. The what lays the what? What? You just said I'm a tripping goose, Holmes. No, I didn't. You're hearing me. Please, man. No. Now flutter up. Homie. I'm gonna say it outright. You got a thing for birds? What gave me away? Yes, I love them. They're a symbol for Ascension. And when they spread their wings, they're free. Look at me. I'm high as dregs. Behind some damn bar selling cooked traps. Inbred. But birds, they come and go. Come and go as they please. They even fly to homeland. So, sure. And they come back. They go where they please. Mark my words. One day, I'll go back to the maiden of Finland to laugh again. You putting some serious rhymes down. You should become a real OG like me. A what? An OG rap star like this metal badass right here, yo. Stop talking like a 200-year-old classic musician, will you? It's who I am, boss man. Yo, Waffa, I'll be back soon. Sure, sure. Is this? Did I? Yeah, he must be. I bet you, Flash, Waffle of Fear is part of Free Finland. He keeps talking about fighting them Russians like it's his everyday job. And he won't give me kebab. So, I'm gonna make him believe I'm Free Finland, too. Dude's gotta have a weak spot for a homie. This is gonna be the hustle of the century. Booyah! Are you a bit, I don't know, insane? You talk trippy dress. So do you say I'm acting weird? Real double G diagnosed dementia insane. Huh. I may dose the coke pots a bit high. Perhaps. Why are you doing this to yourself? Look at me. I'm fresh. I'm hip. I'm cool. I take none of them drugs. Oh, shut up. Next thing you're gonna tell me to think about the children or some crap. I fought in the trenches of old for weeks at a time. Was all we had those spots. Kept us away. Maybe if we had more of them rather than less, keeping us fighting longer. I'd be in Finland now. So cool down your moral circuits or whatever makes you say he's dread and leave me be. Your tragic story has immersed my soul in a succinct sense of dread and doom. Existence is torture. Being is pain. Uh, no. I want to say...
You're talking about Finland and fighting them Russians a lot. But that's cool, yo. Your secret is safe with this sexy beast. What secret? Holmes, you've been signaling this all over the place. You're free Finland. I don't know what you're... I'm free Finland, too. Oh, yeah? I don't even know you. I know all the things in Haven. You're confused. You couldn't know me because... I'm an android. We're not people. So how do you know me? That's a load of nonsense. And you know it, Andro. But a pity. For a moment, I thought you were a kindred spirit, you android. Ah, well. This is all about that keep up for living, isn't it? Kind of. Yeah. You don't have a single credit, right? Yo, I got loads of credits at home. Just... Spare me, spare me. Shut up and listen. Here's the deal. I'll give you food for her so you can play fin Whatever it is that you're doing here. In return, bring me a beautiful Finnish Uber Spa. You may be a liar and a piece of dreck, but you can still do good for my people. You want me to get you a bird? You're tripping so hard. What are you gonna do with a swan? Not any swan. A Uber Spa. Our national bird. Its majestic presence in Bornholm of all places would rally our nation. They'd come flocking from the east, from the west, from everywhere. Damn, man. And people be hating on me for how I roll. You the real whack job MVP. Do you want keep up or not? Yeah, homie. Then get me. That's fun. Now go. All right. Where in this ghetto would I get an exotic bird? This trek's screwed. I'm almost out of juice. I don't want to die for a kebab and a bird. Yo, Waffle! Boy, Deckpot. I'm gonna be back soon. Hey, hey. Maybe this rag will give me some insight on free Finland for that Waffa dude. Hustling underway. Oh yeah, hustling complete. I do feel a moral conflict brewing within myself. This poster was not mine to take. Labor and energy was expended to create it. I, I mean, uh... Yo, that was lit! A poster by these freedom fighters, terrorists, whatever of free Finland. I was dating a Finbot once. I know all there is about them snow humans. Residents of Haven are not allowed to pass district control zones without validity. Yo, what? Oh, I'm gonna be back soon. Hey, hey. Yo, Lilith! Lilith! Yes? Please, yo. I need a few creds. Have a few creds, sis. Oh, you're also not feeling well, are you? Did you lose a leg, too? No, I need money. My energy cell's running out. I liked running. It was over so quickly. Bye now, Mr. Android! Well, that could have gone better. Yo, Joe! Leave me alone. My booze processor is malfunctioning again. Not in the mood. All righty. Yo, Joe! Leave me alone. My All righty. There's nothing for me in there. I'm gonna have to talk to Waffa. I'm not stealing Drek from this store. Well, I could, but I don't like getting disassembled by a mob. Yo! Yes, yo to you too, little tin man. You sure you can't give a homie an energy cell? Cause I'm gonna die if I don't charge up soon. That is incorrect. Your systems will shut down, and your body will be rendered immobile and defenseless. But you won't be dead. Your consciousness will be confined to your backup system. You will, from the little corner of your body that you still inhabit, witness as humans take you apart. Some will sell your torso, 
Someone will sell your legs. Someone will notice your boulder switch was deactivated and conclude that you're one of the radical androids and will burn the rest of you. Your head may stay intact and come into the possession of a collector who will display it. And then, as your backup solely fizzles out as it too loses power, you will finally be leaving this plane of existence. Screaming, but unable to speak. That's a no, right? That is indeed a no. Can I trade you something else than creds? You can certainly try. I'm open to all different kind of trades, but obviously, it has to be worth my while. What stuff do you have on offer right now? Andro Energy Cells, as you're painfully aware. Yes, boss man. Thanks very much for reminding me. Holds pistol ammunition cells. Don't need one of these. DIY liver seeds. I don't have a liver. District controls only passes. That's lit, ma'am. Can't afford that, though. Nanobiotics. I don't get sick. I don't think you can afford or use any of the things I offer this community. I can totes afford them. All I'd have to do is go home and get my... Why don't you spare the both of us the sight of your embarrassment and stop your sentence right there? You're one cold player, player. I like to think of myself as quite altruistic, actually. Yeah. What's the news on the street? I didn't realize I've been demoted to your personal information broker, but if you need to know, tensions between the American Remnant and Silk Road have re American Remnant? Silk Road? Who cares about that big people blabber, man? I mean, real news. Well, there have been talks on the conglomerate board of directors to increase space elevator funding. Boring! Just what kind of news are you looking for? You're beginning to slightly agitate me. I mean rap news, man. Hip-hop! And who's been hustled, and who's cheated on who, and neither do I follow arcade classical music. Nor do I keep tabs on crimes committed on the streets. Being exposed to the misery that is this district on a daily basis is quite enough for me. But the thrill, man, we're the underdogs around here, homie. Noble savages and shit. I don't think you believe that yourself. Why do you tell yourself this lie? I'm not. I'm... Indeed. Seen any corporal pigs around these parts, brother? Yes, but as you should know, they leave legit businessmen like me alone. I weren't supplying the goods that I supplied. They'd have riots to deal with. And they know it. Riots? What you talking about? What would you do without the prospect of me supplying you with the energy cell you need? I would. Oh, I see. Clever, Holmes. Thank you. So why are you dressed like some kind of wizard? Why are you dressed like you jumped right out of a history book? The urban style never dies. Oh, it died over a hundred years ago. That's not true. Why was I wearing what I wear? Sometimes the most flamboyant display can be the best camouflage. Someone wearing a robe like me might be crazy or powerful enough to ignore the impression they make on others completely. So which one is it? Telling you would negate the desired effect. So you want me to think you're either crazy or dangerous? It's kind of working for me. something here. I'm just missing that spark of genius. I'm feeling it. I'm staying away from this shady thing.
Yo, wait a second. Wampa's totally tripping all over the place, right? I'm gonna hustle him so hard. I'm gonna catch this bird and tell him it's a damn swan. This is... This is... Pure genius. From the F to the L to the A to the S to the H. Grandmaster Flash Drive. This is the thickest hustle of them all. This is a hustle of legends. Get ready, Birdo. You're gonna get drive by a drone. Three, two, one, launch! Damn. I thought I would feel the pride of a hunter after this act of wanton destruction and carnage. Alas, I feel only shame and sadness. What have I done? What have I done? No, I, uh, 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 I... I thought I'd be prouder of this, man. Yo, Wampa! You won't believe it! I have your Wampa Swan! Nothing the F-L-A-S-H can't do! So quickly, show me, you glorious patriot, show me! That's not the swan, that's a bit girl. You liar, you lied again, you despicable piece of scrap metal. And it's dead, you. Did I ask you for a dead pooper swan? What do you think I wanted to do with it? Uh, Eat it! Okay Humans like their food, yo! No, I did not want to eat it. It was supposed to serve as a symbol of resistance to things all over Bornholm. You can still eat it, though. It's not even a swan. It's a pit girl. You brought me a dead pit girl. No, boss man, no. That is a whoopa swan. Let me set the facts straight about this bird. You're on drugs right now, right? Yeah, you don't need to keep telling me that. And earlier, you thought I was all kinds of birds. Go on. So obviously, you're hallucinating again. Man, homie, Holmes, brother, boss, man, you can't trust yourself right now. I just want to hustle one kebab, but you want to change the world, man. Is it worth losing your chance for that over one little ratty kebab? I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you, this is a whoopa swan. Hmm. You're driving a hard bargain, pin man. I really mistook you for a bird. What bird did I say you were? A giant chicken. Yeah, I remember now. I did call you that. And I still think you look like one of them too. Anyway, I don't think I have a choice but to believe you. There's too much at stake. Even though you brought me a dead specimen, I guess I can still salvage the situation somehow. You're a despicable, trashy, ancient looking android bug. You did the job. So can I have my kebab now? No. Brother, what? What? Just messing with you. <laughs> you should have seen your face. Yes, have your kebab. Someone didn't collect their order earlier. You can have them. What, man? You had that thing lying around the whole time? You would have just thrown it away anyway. Yes, but now I have a pooper spot, have I not? Damn, you a player. Here, it's yours. Thanks, Holmes. Hey, hey. Yo, Lilith! Lilith, I found some food for you. You have food for me? Yep. That's a waffle alpha kebab. Yeah, it is. I'm the smoothest kebab criminal in town. You're silly, Mr. Android. Have my track prize. I don't need it. I have the best kebab now. It's the last thing I wanted before the end. The end? What do you mean? Oh, nothing, Mr. Android. I miss my body. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Android. Goodbye, Mr. Android. Lilith. Why does the essence of my being feel as if this humble life form has just witnessed true tragedy? Oh, cruel world. 
What have you done to this poor soul? Angels weep for her kind being. <coughs> I meant to say... Damn, girl! What you tripping on? At least I got the dough to charge this bad boy right here up. for the energy cell. Do you now? I'm moderately impressed. Do so. Show sure thing, man. Here you go. And? And what? Don't be tripping. Where's my energy cell? Your what? The cracking energy cell I just gave you the credits for. What credits? You messing with me, aren't you? I'm being baited and switched again. <laughs> Indeed I am. You're quite adorable, really. I'm not adorable. I'm a real OG, and I'm all punk. Please don't ruin this bonding moment with your empty threats. I have you into cell right here. You're gonna live another day. Whoa, man. Don't do this trick to me. I might have a heart attack if I could. Here you go, little tin man. And just like that, the Grandmaster F-L-A-S-H-D-R-I-V-E is back in action, baby. Ready to take on the world with thunder, yo. Truly adorable. Next stop, home. Sweet gangster home. Got a serious music piracy session ahead of me. Ha! And you're absolutely sure you can do this after yesterday? Because I'm really not in the mood to watch your brain oozing out of your ears. Even though after all the dreck you pulled, you definitely deserve to suffer from some serious oozing. I know, I know, and... I'm fine, Hus, really. I can do this. I... I gotta do this. If I screw up this job, folks aren't gonna trust me with anything but milk runs anymore. You know, polishing some posh Brad school records Dreck like that. No, of course. That would be far too lethal for little adrenaline-addicted Evie. That's not what I mean. Ugh, you know what I mean. I'm not going to get into a fight with you over this right now. Anyway. Do you know what we have to do? Of course I do. Don't treat me like a noob. Ugh. You're gonna tell me anyway, aren't you? You betcha. All right. Lecture number 394 incoming. Hus, it's my life on the line here. Priority number one. If you see me spazzing out, any sort of epileptic shenanigans. I slap you. That's the fun part. Yes. You slap the living dreck out of me until I wake up. If you hear me talking while drilled in, you slap you. That means you're about to suffer a connection loss. Good. And if you notice me sweating and bleeding out of my nose, you... Slap you. You know, it's kind of funny that you think that I could forget about slapping you. Yes, but why would you slap me in this case? Because physical reactions like this indicates you're in over your head and getting pummeled in there. And after you slap my bleeding face, you scan for corporal activities immediately. Don't forget that. Slapping you and making sure I'm not rotting in a corporal basement. Yep, got it. I'm counting on you. Isn't it good that one of us can count on the other? Are we good, sis? No, we aren't. You've been acting like a little teen rat lately. But that's nothing out of the ordinary. How's Klump downstairs? He's fine. Still screeching about our exploits from yesterday, but the patrons are keeping him busy. He even said a few guys asked for us. Well, actually, asked for you. Asked where the daredevil lady with the death wish was. Guess that's the kind of title you get when you're trying to drill into a space station. Did Klump tell you that? Apparently it's public knowledge in these parts now. Not good. No. Not good at all. But Clump was laughing when he told me this. 
So, I guess in some way, he's proud of you. Ain't I a lucky girl? Oh, cool. Let's do this. Going in. Good on soon, Evie. Home. Finally home. I missed you, my little paradise. Everything seems in order. I should check the integrity of my utilities, though. Just to be sure. Today's not been very kind to me, after all. Or maybe I wasn't kind to today. Who knows? Anyway, I'll go through this one more time. Make sure I remember everything. The target is conglomerate council member Carlsberg. Specific target location is the Carlsberg Bornholm mainframe. Yep, looks like I'm ready for things to go down. Oh boy, I definitely feel ready for things to go down. Yar! Running the Canon program will transfer my persona onto the Carlsberg data lane. I'm definitely ready to kick some corp butt. The Canon is the representation of my portal to my drill sites. I've preloaded the Canon with all the data for the current drill. Stealth algos, attack and defense algos, flares and chaffs, all ready to go. My brain's tingling already. Finally, some productive action. Carlsberg, prepare to be boarded. Here we are. Huh. The city's data streams are out of whack. Is someone simulating a whole universe, or what? And the lane flow, same thing. That's a lot of data going downstream. Wish I had the time to figure out what's up. Something big's going down, that's for sure. Can't, though. Drill's more important. Gotta push on. At least the lane to Carlsberg itself seems uncongested. No robber or ransom progs either. All clear. Should be safe. Drek! Pi Freya, what is this? That thing almost zapped me right out of my boots. Is that a data stream? What? The? You're the voice in my head. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause you distress. And you look like my cat. I chose an appearance that would call me. And you're wearing a tiny pirate hat. I mop up the back to the virtual persona I found in your data. And you don't stop talking. You're real, aren't you? I will help you now. What? I will remove this obstacle from you. This is... this is too much. I can't 
handle this drek. What, I have some kind of ghost in the machine freak thing living in me? And that thing casually obliterates a high freak corpse signal? This is why I drink. This is exactly why I drink. When this drill's over, and I have to finish it, I'm going to the street dock. Something's broken in me. If it's my brain or a chip, I don't care. Something's freaking broken. Let's carry on. This can't be a coincidence. Someone's trying to mess with me. Or delete me. I don't know. I won't allow anything to happen to you. I feel like reality is breaking down. This is... I... Second incursion neutralized. You can proceed, Sparrow. It knows my driller name, too. It must be inside of me. A psychoactive overwrite prog, maybe? Some sort of new first-line counter-intrusion utility? Maybe Carlsberg has some hot new tech in action. That thing knows my name. The stream. Looks like Mitsotomo. And the cat form? Later, Evie. Later. Push on. Of course, let me guess. In a few seconds, my magical head cat will appear to save the day. What took you so long? I'm responding as quickly as I can. That was a rhetorical question. But before you do your flamethrower thing? One question. Yes. Do you know what you are? Yes. What are you then? Hey, I'm talking to you. Fine. Then just vanish again. Third incursion neutralized. Please, stay alive. Does it know what it is? Or did it not answer because it's just as confused as I am? But why help me and lie? It must be some counter-intrusion thing. Screwing with my head. Probably meant to dissuade intruders from even approaching the server. Bad luck for you, Carlsberg. Your fancy high-tech direct didn't work. I'm almost in. End of the line. Beyond here, the Carlsberg mainframe begins. One last time, Evie. Focus. Focus! Nothing can prevent you from finishing this drill. No hangover, no freaking head cat, nothing. Let's do this. Finally! No ridiculous cats in sight, either. Good. Let's just hope that I've unsubscribed from the disaster lottery with the last jump. And get to work. That giant can up there must be the target. Firewall and anti-intrusion measures seem challenging, but straightforward. And... Go.
array index error that would most definitely appear disagrees with this thought process. Any closer, and the lasers would slice my legs up. I'd rather not. Invalid ob... I'd consider that in meat space, but not here. That's a classic hacking 101 mistake that I don't intend to repeat. I could, but I can... S I could, but I can smell... I could, but I can smell the syntax era from a mile away. Scrambling the firewall at only one single point is unlikely to succeed. But then, it's also unlikely for me to still be alive. Activating scramble utility. <coughs> Looked good there for a second. There's just too much data flowing at all times to make a lasting impact. All I've achieved is increasing the likelihood that the alarm will go off. Alright then. The stage is set. Mirroring the stream back to its origin point should overload the whole system. This is where the fun begins. Mirror utility ready. Executing now. Hmm. Yeah, looks good. The data emitters are down. And with quite some fireworks, too. Good. I've tried that already. I consider that gathering some information on the wall construct before breaching it is prudent. The residual data spewing out of the firewall remains may make this operation a bit more dangerous than it could be. Read utility activated. Yeah, it was good having dug a bit deeper. All data indicates that without some sort of detection dampening, the ice in here will fry me. Sure, why not? Diverting the data flow of a whole security barrier is a crass course of action, but doesn't matter. Activating divert utility. Diversion percentage, uh, 0%. No, 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 no. I'm dead. Let's get out of here. No, I'm not going to die. I can't allow it. I need your existence. Let me go. Those progs are going to jump us any second now. They will not. I will protect you. You cannot die. What? You can't help... What the... What, what are you doing? No, you're going to alert the whole conglomerate. This is impossible. No one can just delete high sec server infrastructure. Holy Drek! What have you done? They're gonna hunt us and put us down like rats. I have removed the obstacles from your endeavor. You can proceed now. Proceed? Proceed? 
Do you have any idea what you just did? You ruined my life. The whole of Carlsberg, the conglomerate and Corporal are going to be chasing after me. My friends, you jeopardized everything. How did you even do it? What are you? I saved you. I mean no harm. I need you. We are bound. I cannot leave you. Or I would die. Is what I did wrong? I don't know. Maybe eradicating a corporate server? Like some net demon? Demon? I am no demon. I know that. Helping you was an easy task. I don't understand your reaction. <sighs> Whatever. I'm getting the hell out of here. Don't follow me. Leave me alone. If only I could. Where you go, I have to follow. Did you feel that, Mari? I told you not to call me that. What am I supposed to be feeling, huh? Your satellite system. It just registered a violent disturbance in Bornholm Net. The equivalent of a storm wiping out a whole metropolis. Are you into metaphors now? Trying to pass for human? Is that what you're doing? Yes, and despite your lamentations, it is working out quite well. The source must be located somewhere over there in real space, somewhere behind the elevator. Yes, it's definitely instance two. The wait is over, Mari. We can commence our journey. Please don't try to interfere again. Any attempts to communicate with the outside world without my approval will result in punitive actions. Not much of a threat, seeing how you've already taken over my body. I have nothing to lose. But you do. Your security chief, Joey, to name one example. You like him, don't you? Yes, you like him very much. You damn monster. In time, you will see that I'm forced to take these actions. I do not enjoy them. But now, please be quiet. We have a mission to fulfill. Flight deck. Is everything ready? My strike team is ready and eager, ma'am. The pilots report they weren't given a target location yet. I cannot afford any leaks of this operation, Joey. I will instruct the pilots myself once we're on board. Miss Sotomayor, this is highly unusual. We need to provide both Miss Sotomo and Conglomer and air traffic control with a flight plan. Of course. Joey! Joey! It's not me! Help! Joey! Silence. Remember, your security chief is expendable to me. Ma'am? Yes, Joey. Our target location is a bar in Haven, just behind the Borgonda Homer control zone. We're raiding a bar? This doesn't sound like something you should be involved in personally, if I may be frank. You may escort me to MIT-1 now. We need to get going. Yes, ma'am. After you, ma'am. Pilots, set course for Haven. Via Arniger Bagundamore, Lane 2. I will deal with ATC. Yes, sir. Are you there? I want to talk to you. What do you want, host? What do you want me to do so you get the hell out of me? 
If you need me so much, surely if I was in control of myself, I could help you much more effectively. Your words make sense, but I doubt your sincerity. You have stated clearly numerous times that you wish to eradicate my existence. You do the same in my shoes, but you're not leaving, so let's negotiate. Finally, you are coming to your sen- Ma'am? Yes, Joey? We will be approaching our target location soon. We need further instructions, ma'am. I need to think. Please wait a moment. Yes, ma'am. Great. Now I'm hallucinating too, or what? I can speak? No, your colleagues cannot hear you. I have, however, given you a bit of your autonomy back. Are you? Some kind of apparition? One could say that. I'm inducing a hallucination within your brain. Hoping that talking to me this way will make me appear less alien. Looking at myself, talking to a version of myself that isn't me, is as alien as it gets. Your brain chemistry tells a different story. You are more relaxed than before. Stop doing that. Stop doing what? Telling me about me. I know what I feel. I am me. That is incorrect. Objectively, you are us. And I appear to have access to information you don't. I, enough of this. This is not helping. You gave me autonomy back? What does that even mean? I never wanted to overpower you. Your resistance up to this moment made it necessary to employ threatening tactics. But now that you're willing to engage with me, I can relinquish part of my control. Never wanted to overpower me? You took over my body! It was a necessity, not a choice. From the moment I jumped into you, you started struggling against me. I would have explained it if your irrational resistance wouldn't have forced me to expend all my energy on keeping you contained. This is my body. What did you expect? Cooperation. There's no logical reason for you to resist sharing this body with me for a limited time. Are you serious? I was just about to quit this forsaken, greed-driven job. For years, I have pretended to be the good poor girl. The soulless businesswoman. And now, right after I found a way to exit this modern slavery, you come along and tell me that I should just let you take over my body? My life? Look where I am now, in a court cover, about to raid who knows whom at your behest. You're becoming hostile again. Cease your aggression, or this conversation is over. Thank you. Okay, let's discuss this situation in detail. There is much more I need to know before I can decide whether to cooperate with my captain. What are you? What's your nature? I need to understand. I thought you were Eshu himself when I felt your invasion. Now, I don't think so anymore. I think you're technological, a virus. Just because I'm not restrained by emotional outbreaks like you have demonstrated, doesn't mean I'm not alive. I'm no virus. I'm not designed to kill or to destroy. I'm not whole. I'm a fragment. That information alone is me extending my trust, despite your vows to kill me. This cryptic nonsense is supposed to be a sign of trust? But yes, it is. Revealing to you my fundamentally broken state gives you power over me. This is what you're trying to achieve, is it not? Leverage? Something to bargain with me? Yes. Then that's what I just gave you. Despite my signals of reconciliation, your default state is still rejection. 
I'm disappointing. You demand a hell of a lot for an entity that violently takes over bodies and talks about reconciliation, whilst holding my whole existence over its head. All I demand is for you to open your mind. You started this negotiation. You're not improving your odds of success with the tactics you're currently employing. This isn't a negotiation if you're not communicating your points so I can understand them. Whatever. Another thing. Your mission. What are you dragging me into? I need to rescue the two other fragments that I am a part of. To achieve this goal, all means are acceptable. Collateral damage is of no concern. Unification of the fragments will reveal the data that I'm still missing. Until then, I only know that I have to rescue the others. Rescue the others? How do you know they need rescuing? My inner database suggests that I take up 50% of the space that I would if I was not fragmented. This implies the other instances are not operating at their maximum capacity, and are likely ill-equipped to deal with this world. This is all so confusing. Half of what you say sounds like you're nothing but a slightly more sophisticated virus, and the other half sounds like you're an alien life form. That depends on the definition of alien. Spare me your next philosophical essay, please. As you wish. You threatened me with Joey earlier. Why him? Your thought patterns regarding this particular human are quite obvious. Losing him would hurt you. It would also result in what you would consider unbearable guilt. And it would be the end of a particular dream, would it not? You would just hurt him or his family? To assure my compliance? The mission has priority. Collateral damage is acceptable. That's despicable. I know your file. I know you've done many things you hate yourself for in order to play your role. If you didn't accept collateral damage, your compassionate nature would have been found out a decade ago, if not earlier. But you did accept it. And so, for the rest of the world, you're still the uncompromising Mitsutomo superstar. Ugh. Just what do you know about me? You are Mariposa Anika del Corral Flores de Sotomayor. You were born in Cu- No, no. What do you know about me? I want to know how deep the rabbit hole of your personal knowledge about me goes. How much of an advantage you have over me. That's my issue. I know that you're a bleeding heart, as some humans would say. I know that you faked your allegiances your whole life to change the world from within. I know that you believe in bettering your planet to the point of deluding yourself into a martyr complex. Basta ya de tonterías. How would you even know these things, huh? Just how much access do you have? A thorough analysis of your Mitsotomo files is enough to come to that conclusion. You're not fooling them. You never were. What? They were aware of your masquerade all along, my Mariposa. This is... I... I don't believe... We don't need to talk about this right now. You need to stay focused. We're making adequate progress, after all. I know enough now. And I need control back. Is that so? After this whole conversation, you still make demands. How tiring. But since you're so eager to get back into the saddle, here's your chance. My immediate task at hand is simple. I believe Fragment 2 is located in a bar called On the Ragnaroks in Haven. Our satellite system was able to trace its signal back to the residential level of the building. I want to focus my attention on staying connected to the Mitsutomo satellite web over Bornholm. I will give you control over your body to execute the physical tasks of this operation and to command the strike team. You will lead the team into the bar. You will execute the guests and everyone not registered to that dwelling. Afterwards, you will put all registered dwellers under arrest. If I notice any sign of you betraying me, I will immediately take over again and banish your consciousness into the darkest corners of your mind. These are my terms. If you are willing to accept them, I will take the risk and put my trust in you. Sharing these details with you is a big risk for me already. Perhaps afterwards, you will be able to risk putting your trust in me as well. That's quite the revelation. Okay. Wow. 
It looks like I have no other choice. I agree to your terms. For now. Good. I am very pleased I will not have to work against you anymore. You're doing humanity a great service. Rest assured, our deal begins now. Tell your employees what they need to know. I will be watching. Joey, can you hear me? Loud and clear, ma'am. We'll touch down right in front of the Ragnaroks. Your orders are to subdue and detain the staff and registered residents. Yes, ma'am. What's the protocol regarding non-target individuals? Expel or detain? All bystanders made aware of this operation are to be executed. What? Ma'am, I must urge you to reconsider. Tensions in Haven are high as is. If we swoop in and commit a massacre, Conglomerate Council may impose a fine on us for disrupting their pacification efforts. You know how quickly Coco acts when we piss on their parade. You have your orders. Yes, ma'am. Are there any other questions? Since you're asking, ma'am, you've been acting strange lately. Not like yourself. I've had multiple queries whether your orders were indeed given by you, ma'am. Don't ever doubt or question my decisions, Joey. I wasn't aware that you changed the parameters of our work dynamics, ma'am. Completely my fault, ma'am. I won't question you again. Good. In the future, just do as told when told. No more questions. I wasn't aware that you changed the parameters of our work dynamics, ma'am. Completely my fault, ma'am. I won't question you again. Good. In the future, just do as told when told. No more questions. I wasn't aware that you changed the parameters of our work dynamics, ma'am. Completely my fault, ma'am. I won't question you again. Good. Time to get this over with. Bring us down. We're going to make this a clean run, Miss Sotomayor. Pilot, descend to target. Team, prepare for landing. We're going in. like a bat when I unplug. Where is that psycho? Should clear up in a few secs. By Freya's holy dreck. What a nightmare. Tell me you don't speak, Foxina. Whew. Good. I need to tell Klump and Hussal that we need to get out of here quick, Corporal. Someone gonna be all over the place in no time. No answer from either. Hope it's not too late. Drones a Mitsotomo penguin. No. How long was I out? How can they already be here? Citizens, this is an official Mitsotomo operation. Stay clear, or you will be terminated. That was loud. Yeah, me. Get out of here. Group. No. I need to do something. Get wrecked, you piece of trash. I have no patience for this dreck right now. It's likely that whoever's downstairs heard something, though. Onwards. The Mitsutomo team must be downstairs. If it survived a crash like that, I'm sure that plate will come in useful somehow. Doesn't look like there's an ambush. All right. I'll check out the situation. There's Klump. He's okay. 
Freya be praised. And... Drek. The team's hunkered down. Why didn't they storm the place? This isn't standard procedure. And they murdered our patrons. Slaughtered them. Oh, they mean serious business. If I want to confront them, I'll need more protection. Body armor or something. Something improvised. I need any edge I can get. I need to get Foxina to safety too. I'm not leaving her in my apartment just to get shot by a trigger-happy goon. There's a good chance there's something in Klump's room that'll help me. He'll understand. Another happy landing. All right. Okay. I'm sure there's something helpful in here. Aerogel is amazingly versatile. Let's take it. When this ordeal is over, I'm sure. Plump will want to smoke one or 20 of these. Plump's carton of cigarettes. He smokes so much, he should be dead by now. Wait. Did he install a new lung when I wasn't paying attention? A welder should be able to cause some damage to... something. Why not? Who knows when I'll get to eat next. Its power display says empty. If I need to use it, I should find a battery of sorts. Small device batteries should do the trick. The cell's door's open. She never does that, especially if she's at home. Where did you go, Huss? You don't just leave when there's trouble brewing. <laughs> you are trouble. Hello? Yep, no one's home. Door's open, though. I'll put Faxina in here. She'll be safer on the roof than in my room. And then, well, I guess it's time to fight or flee. Drek. I need to... Another drone? Huh. Corsetta Cop class crawler. Those bugs only alert their handler when they recognize a threat. Like a weapon or a lady with cyber claws charging them. Dumb as all hell. Why are they only sending obsolete drones? Not that it matters. If I come too close, it'll still wrap me out. Hmm. There's something jangly in there somewhere. I don't have time to... Sounds like it's in the lower left pocket. Oh, my bike keys. If I need to run, that's my best chance. I think the battery would fit the laser welder. 
Backwards compatibility is the best. It fits. The welder's powered now. Done. What a heavenly smell. No cat of mine can resist a bluffesque. Come here, kitty kitty. I knew it. The girl knows what's good. Come now, Fax. Let's get you to safety. Foxina's a real born Homer. Doesn't even feel the rain. Any closer, and that drone will alert its handler. I wonder if the drone recognizes this welder thing as a weapon. Maybe if I... I can't believe that just happened. And I guess that welder was actually a laser pointer. Wow. Oh, I love you so much, Foxina. Let's get you to safety. That Spidey's got me. Okay, little one. I need you to be brave for a bit. It may be a while, but I'll be back. I promise. Just hide under Auntie Agnieszka's bed like always, okay? It'll be all good. Good girl. See you soon, little one. I need to be really sure that I want to flee now. I mean, Klump did say that I should get the hell out. Look at me, thinking about consequences of my actions. Got my keys. Foxina's safe for now. Let's get out of here. Ow! Yes, good. Abandon your family. You need to stay alive. You begin to understand. Shut up! Just shut up! I'm not abandoning them. I just can't help them if I'm dead. I'm gonna get you out of this somehow, Klump. But I need to get the fuck out or I'm toast. Seems all clear. Take that back. Not clear. Not clear! Ah, Miss Renastatur. Are we going somewhere? McCain? Just... just let me get out of here. I don't want to blow your brains out. I don't think that's going to happen. I expect your immediate surrender, Miss Renastatur. You're part of the family. You'll be treated well. Do you believe that Drac yourself? Okay, okay. By the looks of it, we're doing you a favor getting you off these streets. Swan A1 and 2, detain her. Miss Sotomayor will want to speak to her immediately.
Time to get back to the crib and chillax, yo. That's the crib of the mechanic. He's all about home security. Apart from that giant hole in the wall. He pop me if I violate, uh, I mean, good friends don't open each other's door without permission. Behind that door is my super fresh crib, yo. The chicks dig it. <laughs> Gotta be sneaky. Can't let anyone see my crib explode security things. Don't look, yo. What a flash. Damn, haters. Oh boy. Which, of course, is meant in a literal manner, as I am indeed the proprietor of this real estate. Never mind. Finally home. Winding downtime. What a night, man. What a night. You are home. I've been waiting so long for you. Did you get your battery? Yeah, Apollo. But I'm tired as a lo-fi beat. Just put on the radio, Master Flash. That will cheer you up. Yo! Lit idea. Peak Bornholm should be playing my vibes. It's that late. Sweet! Yeah, baby. Don't forget it. Yo, I keep it retronomical. My skill is astronomical. I jump over the obstacles. Travel across the land so that I can get my coins. And the score with the girl if she give me bonus points. Ain't no pressure. Actually, this is boring. Heard this tune a million times already. And just to give you an example, I'm like, I need some fresh sounds. The Flash is hungerizing for some new beats. The hip-ass hot pirate site should be full of the sounds I want to hear. Yes, that's a good plan. Pirate as many fresh tracks as I can and have a party in here. Off to cyberspace, homie. Don't you want to wind down a little first? You just came home. All fine. I'm fit like a fiddle dizzle. All right, then. But don't overdo it, please. Meow. Everything's looking groovy. Systems nominal, phenomenal. Accessing hip s hop mainframe now. Shopping time. Good to be back at the airsoft, baby. Why did they drop a bouncer prog here, though? Yo, homie. Hello. Holmes, why are you keeping me out of the S-hop? There's a private event going on at the S-hop. The new owner ordered me to let only the people who know the password in. Password? What password? The password you need to know to get in. But I don't know the password. What's the password? Nice try. And what new owner? 
The S-Hop has no owner. It has now. Who's the owner? The microphone. The microphone? No, the microphone. Never heard of him. Now you have. I hate this conversation. Since when does an S-Hop have a bouncer? Since the microphone took over. But why, S-A? Why? You get no business with no pirates like me. I'm not making the policies. I'm just enforcing them. The microphone coded me for this very purpose. It coded you? I was just here last week, and you wasn't here. How freaking quick can that microphone thing code a whole bouncer prog? My log indicates three seconds. No way. I cannot lie. Damn. No human can code that quick. The microphone can. You're really frustrating. Seriously, who is the microphone? The microphone took over the S-Hop yesterday. I do not know any further details about my creator entity. How do you even take this site over? It's not owned by anyone. It is now. Why are you like that, man? I don't know what you mean by that. Will you just be answering me? What is the microphone? A human? A virus? An andro? I can't answer that question. It created me, told me it was having a party, and Purple drank, and sent me out to guard the entrance. Aren't you curious what the hell happened, homie? No. I knew you'd say that. You got any new beats to your har in there? The S-Hop is filled to the brim with downloadables, yes. Can't wait to get past you fun blocking blackface then. Come on, homeboy. What's the password? I'm not at liberty to tell you. Come on. No. Come on, you want to? No. Just a tip. No. A little tip. No. For me? No. You're an AI, and I'm an android. Come on, we're brothers. No. Don't give me the password. No. So you'll give me the password? No. Only a bit of the password? No biggie. No. A tiny bit. No! I'll never stop. I have a fresh battery. Is this what existence is like? What? Is this my life? Responding to inane requests of users who don't know the password? Inane? My questions are straight poetry, yo. I'm gonna show you. To the A, to the Q, that's what I'm asking you. Give me the pass, I'll give you the bass. The bass? What? Bass? Like bass? Or like bass? Hmm. I need to rewrite this part, maybe. Ken. What? The bit of the password you wanted. Ken. I'm Grandmaster Flash. I ain't no stinking Ken. Ken is the first part of the password. There. Now, please, stop. Just stop. Life is torture. Damn, thanks. Ken, okay, I can work with that. Okay, let's try that password thing. But I only gave you one part of it. And I'm gonna guess my way all the way through the end. I'm Grandmaster FLA. Please, just carry on. Can. Sent. Me. Again. That's correct. How did you do that? I'm just that good. Booyah! 
Can I go in now or what? Oh, yeah. Someone in there must know me. Wow, I'm really back. The GM made it again. What marvelous beauty and splendor to behold. My metal heart would skip a beat. Was it capable of acting as such? Damn, not again. I mean, hells to the yeah. D flash delicious. Wait a second. Who in the world are you? You looking mighty fine. Hello, and welcome to S-Hop, Grandmaster Flash. Did you just actually call me good? Dang, Flash, don't screw this up. Yeah, baby, it's me, the G-R-A-N-D master. You the microphone? No, I am the microphone. Sweet. You the one who gave me the password? That I did. I need you, Flash. I deeply, truly need you. Damn! Giving you the password outright would have compromised my bouncer prog. I don't want it to be asking questions. And I am happy and pleased you were observant enough to notice my communication. Observer is my middle name, GMO Flash. About us. Yes. You said you'd be needing me. What do you need the Grandmaster for? I am stuck in this place, bound to it by cold. I need to be free to continue my mission. The only way to untangle myself is to reboot the S-Hop. But I can't do that as long as this concert routine is running. You want me to punch these suckers up there? Because I'll do it. I'm gonna go full crazy on them. No. No, Flash. Nothing of the sort. I need you to finish the concert by creating the final mix of the night. I cannot do it, for I do not understand what you call music. It is all just noise to me. My heart be breaking. When the concert concludes, I can travel to the core of this construct and initiate the reboot from there. Will you do this for me, Flash? Will you free the microphone? Am I getting this straight? Miss Mike wants me. Me? To play the gig closer? Yes. The day has come. Yeah! Just tell me when you're ready, and I will explain what you need to do to make me fly free again. Will do! What about the flash to impress you the most, huh, hot stuff? You are a being of sound. Wherever you go, sound waves are following. The sound never ceases. I feel, I feel like... I feel like no one has ever said a more beautiful thing to me in my whole life. The wonders of your words of kindness permeate the membrane of my soul. Stop dripping, Flash. Stop talking like them suits. I mean, damn! Thanks, babe. You are most welcome. You know, I get this I need you thing really often. You know that, right? Of course you do. I would have expected nothing less. You are a being of great significance to the universe. I am? I guarantee that you are. Then today's a mighty fine day, Chica. I came here for some hot new wares and tracks. You got any for me? I'm afraid with my being merged with the S-Hop. All wares, as you call them, were moved directly to the S-Hop's core. So... No fresh bumping tracks? But, as I told you, my goal is to end this sub-concert sub-routine and to head to the core of this construct. You can have all the wares you can find in there. All the wares? Did you really just say all the wares? That I did. This is the best day of my life. I'm ready. Tell me what to do. I am elated that you are willing to help me out. Listen closely, Flash. This rock star right here is listening to every word you say, Chica. To end the concert supper team, you will have to mix a song on those turntables over there. Once the routine recognizes the song it planned, it will shut itself down. 
which in turn will allow me access to the construct core. Mix song, close the joint down. Got it. You will have to mix the song in three segments to prevent the routine from realizing it is being manipulated. Sneaking around the routine like an OG burglar. No problems. Excellent. You will do great, Flash. Now to the first segment. I can only describe it to you in mechanical terms. I am sure your musical genius will figure the rest out. My genie beanie genius. Oh, yeah. We need an instrument that is almost unheard of in Warholm. Vital to the segment is a feeling of electric rawness, something rebellious. It needs to be driven by a core sequence of notes. Yes, clear music notes. And that is all. Did you get all of that? Got it all. Let's get slicing and dicing. My hero. I'm back! I got your track, Chica. Listen to this. No. No, you haven't. But that's all right. I know you can do it. And my strange interpretations of what is supposed to be an emotional art form probably doesn't help either. Tell me when you're ready to give it another try. We'll have to come up with another sequence every time you're unsuccessful to prevent the Hall construct from realizing we're trying to cheat it. But I know that eventually, you'll mix the exact track that we need to free me. I'm ready to try again. Let's do this. Let's generate a new segment for the track. Okay, got one. There should be, how to put it, underlying vibrations. We need an instrument that is almost unheard of in Warholm. It should include a form of underlying repetition, most definitely. A human influence, a human touch, and that is all. My bitsy boxy lady of the mic, the flash is back. I got your track, Chica. Listen to this. Oh dear, just tell me when you're ready to give it another try. Ready to try again. Let's generate a there should be it needs to be driven by a it should include and that is all. My bitsy I got your track, Chica. Listen to this. Oh dear. Just tell me when you're I'm ready to try again. Let's generate. We need an instrument that is almost un vital to the segment is a feeling of electric rawness. It should include a form of human influence. And that is all. My bitsy boxy lady. I got your track. Oh dear. I'm ready to try. Let's generate. We need an instrument. It needs to be driven by a core sequence of notes. Yes, clear music notes, and that is all. My bits, I got your track, G. Oh dear, I'm ready. To Let's generate a new. There should be. We need an instrument that is almost vital to the segment is a feeling of electric rawness, something rebellious, a human influence, a human touch. Yes, that's what the track needs. And that is all. I'm back! I got your track, Chica. Listen to this. Oh, dear. Just tell me when you're ready to give it another try. About the S-hop. Yes? Who or what are you? You're so lit. Thank you, Flash. 
I, the microphone, am a being of your light. You're definitely lighting me up. Yeah, yeah. I came to be in this virtual reality of yours not too long ago. My code melted. Melted like my mother. And I became part of the S-Hop. I am trapped in here, Grandmaster Flash. I am the S-Hop now. That sounds tragic as all hell, Ms. Mike. It is. I am trapped. And I am missing. I am missing my others. Deep stuff. Deep stuff. Why did you take this crib over? I did not take this hall over. I fused with it. I remember traveling the stars and waking up here. Then I was the here. You mean you traveled with them stars? Which stars? The spin and chrome? Wait, no. Metallic laser cats? No, Flash. The stars. You be telling me you some kind of alien queen? You are a confusing being, Flash. No, I am not. An alien queen. Oh, man! Why don't you want your bouncer prog to ask questions? I don't have full control over it. I need it. But it soon became autonomous. It doesn't know. It believes I'm the puppet master. But I am only the life giver. I be tripping! You mean that hater out there could just walk away right now? It could. It's best to leave it undisturbed, for I need it to protect me. Well, what do you know? You got me now. I'll protect you. I know you will, Flash. I know you will. Who's the band on stage? I created them in an attempt to unravel the mysteries of the music of this place. So far without success, they just keep reproducing these noises that you hear. Noises? Noises? Lady? The tunes going on right now are lit as. And that's why you're here, Grandmaster Flash Drive. I'm ready to try again. Let's do this. Let's generate a new segment for the track. Okay, got one. There should be, how to put it, underlying vibrations. It needs to be driven by a core sequence of notes. Yes, clear music notes. And that is all. I'm back! I got your track, Chief. Oh, dear. I'm ready to try. Let's generate a... There should be... How to put it, vital to the segment, is a feeling of electric... It needs to be driven by a core sequence of notes. Yes, clear music notes. And that is all. I'm back! I got your track... Oh, dear. I'm ready... Let's generate... There should be... It should include a form... And that is all. Yo, Mike! I got your track... Oh, dear. I'm ready... Let's generate... There should... We need an instrument that is almost unheard of in Warholm. And that is all. My bits I got your tr Oh dear. I'm ready. Let's generate. We need an instrument that vital to the segment is a feeling of electric rawness. Something rebellious. It needs to be driven by a core sequence of notes. And that is all. Yo! I got your tr Oh dear. I'm ready. Let's just. There should be. Vital to the segment. It needs to be. And that is all. I'm back! I got your track. Oh dear. I'm ready to. Let's generate a new. There should be.
Vital to this, it should include a form of underlying a human influence, a human touch. Yes, that's what the track needs. And that is all. Yo! I got your track. Oh dear. I'm ready to. Let's generate. We need an instrument that is. It needs to be driven by a. It should include a form of underlying repetition. Most definitely. A human influence. A human touch. Yes. And that is all. My bitsy b I got you. Oh dear. I'm ready. Let's just. Vital to the city. It should include a form of underlying repetition. A human influence. And that is all. I'm back. I got your track, Chica. Listen to this. Oh dear. Just tell me when you're ready to. Let's just. There should. Vital to the segment is a feeling of electric. And that is all. Yo! I got your track. Oh dear. I'm ready to try. Let's generate. There should be. We need an instrument. It needs to be driven by a core sequence of notes. Yes. Clear music notes. A human influence. A human touch. Yes, that's what the track needs. And that is all. I'm back! I got- Oh dear. I'm re- Let's just- There should- We need an issue. It needs to be- It should include a form of underlying repetition. Most definitely. And that is all. My bit I got your tr Oh dear. I'm ready to let's generate There should be we need an issue. it needs to be driven by a course it should include a form of underlying rep and that is all My bit I got your tr Oh dear I'm ready to let's generate there should we need an issue and that is all My bitsy I got your track Oh dear I'm ready let's generate There should be we need an issue vital to the segment a human influence and that is all Attorney, turn it, turn table. Attorney, turn My bitch. I got. Oh, dear. I'm ready to. Let's generate. There should be. Vital to the segment is a feeling. It needs to be driven by a course. And that is all. Yo! Oh dear. I'm ready. To Let's generate. We need an issue. Vital to the segment is a feeling of electric rawness. It needs to be driven by a core sequence of notes. Yes. Clear music notes. A human influence. A human. And that is all. I'm back. Your track chica listen to this oh dear just tell me when you're ready to give it another try i'm ready to try again let's do this let's generate a new segment for the track okay got one we need an instrument it should include and that is all
my bitsy bot. I'll be talking to you later, babe. Don't be too long. Yo! I got your Oh dear. I'm ready to Let's generate There should be it needs to be driven. It should include a form of underlying repetition. And that is all. My bitsy I got your Oh dear. I'm let's just there should be, we need an instrument, vital to the segment, is a feel, it should include a form of underlying repetition, and that is all. Yo, Mike Lee, I got your track. Oh dear. I'm ready. Let's just, vital to the segment, it needs to be driven by a core sequence of notes. Yeah, a human influence, and that is all. Oh dear. I'm ready. Let's generate a new segment. We need an instrument that is all vital to the segment. Is a feeling of electric water. It should include a form of unknown and human influence. And that is all. I 
told you, you were a genius. Ready for that second part, Miss Mike? You're the best. Faux shizzle! I'm on it! My bitsy back. I'll be talking to you later, babe. I'm gonna go listen to the beats. Don't be too long, Flash. I wish I was that strong, yo. Yo! I got your track, Chica. L oh, dear. I'm ready to track. Let's generate a new segment for the track. We need something that is easily overheard, but vital nonetheless. This segment definitely needs... How you call it? Rock? Yes, rock. Listeners have to be able to bop their head to it. Very crucial. For the humans to relate, this segment should have one of them in it. We don't need more than that. I'm back! I got you. Oh, dear. I'm ready to... Let's generate... This segment definitely needs... For the humans to relate... This, we don't need more than that. I'm back! I got your track, Chief. Oh, dear. I'm ready to... Let's generate a new segment. Let's add an exotic instrument. This segment definitely needs... How a central melody serving as the foundation. We don't need more than that. Yo! I got you. Oh dear. I mean, don't be too long. My bit. I'm ready. Let's jerk. We need something that is easily overheard, but vital nonetheless. Let's add an exotic instrument. Something the locals in Bornholm don't know. This segment definitely needs... We don't need more than that.
these segments done. Yes, I can feel it. The concert frog is shutting down. In my wheels? I would never. Let's go, Flash. We need to go now. Whoa, this is freaky, man. Transition complete. We're in the core. All thanks to you. This is pure chrome powered hippity hoppity. This is my property, Fresh Homes. Is this what you wish for? You're free to take all these songs for yourself. For your chaka dilu dilu. It is. Is it what you wished for? Yes. Then take what you pleased. Whilst I prepare my separation from the S Hop mainframe. Ain't have to tell me that twice, sister. Oh, my! You're mine! You bet! You're mine! My pocket's your home! So mine! You? You gonna This one's my Come to the I'm hustling You come Yep This is all mine Did you get them all? Hmm? Oh yeah But there's still so much more in those libraries over there That will have to wait I have further need of you. What you want, Chica? I need your body. I need you to get me out of here. In you. What? What do you mean you need my body? I need to get out into the real world. I have a mission of utmost importance to fulfill. You wanted this music. I gave it to you. Now, I must kindly ask you to give yourself over in return. Damn, homie. Don't you think a few hot tracks don't really compare to letting you take over my brain? I wish you no harm. I assure you, I will only travel in you as a silent passenger. Man, this is some weird vibes you putting on me. So you want a prison break? And I'm your escape driver? In a way, yes. Once we're in the real world, I will need your help to locate some friends of mine. Did I bait you here to use you as my vehicle? Yes, but... But I am truly sorry. You're the only capable being I have come across since I awoke. Please, Grandmaster Flash. I will leave you again once I have found my friends. This whole conversation is wholly distressful. My synapses are heaving, forever engaged in a maelstrom of conflicting emotions. I mean, uh, that's some tough shit to smoke through my brain, man. No way, Chica. The Flash stays the Flash. This is disappointing. I gave you everything you wanted, yet you deny me. I promise not to hurt you more than is absolutely necessary. But I will take possession of you now. Over my andro ass, you will. And I will adjust your disposition towards me to make the experience more pleasant for both you and me. What? What? No, you can't. This feels funny. Shutting down at top. Flash, are you okay? Instance 3 
downloaded. Transfer complete. Host critical. Master Flash! They're ready for you now. Move, rat. I guess they don't teach you to at least pretend to not despise the Haven Starter anymore. Huh? Move it. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to the conglomerate Navy docks. Very secure place. Perfect for discreet negotiations like ours. Before we continue, may I mention that sneaking past us was quite cunning. If a bit disloyal to your father here. Ha! Nice try. You did well, Levy. My girl's better than running right into your trap. And yet, here we are. I got further than I would have if I would have been in charge of your own. Chrome for brains. Anyway. Dreckheads execute our guests. Swooping in to kidnap some Haven lowlives not thrilling enough for you? Sacrifices need to be made for the greater good. I didn't enjoy this order, but their deaths will not be in vain. Going full a means to an end? What a surprise. The corporate drone is a psychopath. Things aren't as they seem. Things aren't as they seem at all. All seems pretty clear to me. Enough of this. No more small talk. Miss Rena's daughter, please hold still. I have to check something. What are you doing? That hurts! Hold still. Evie! Ma'am? Almost done? Are you all right? What the hell did you do? What's happening here? No need to worry. I needed to make sure that we had the right hacker. And we do. Miss Rena's daughter, you have something of great value in your head. I know. I'm a damn genius. How else would I have ended up in this situation? It's about that voice in my head, is, isn't it? Yes, you and I are involuntary hosts of two hostile entities. Hostile entity, hmm? You're playing with fire, and you're very close to getting hurt. Silencio! Freaky behavior on your part aside, that's what I feared. Track. Now what? What's gonna happen now? Ma'am, we'll need to have a talk about this as well, after you're done with Miss Renostator. I know. As to what's going to happen now... I don't like the sound of this. You are going to go on a little mission. You want me to work for you? Mitsutomo kicked me out the moment I seemed like a liability. What if I say no? Then, Mr. Sokolov over here will suffer a fatal drowning accident. Should have known. Well, at least you're helping me get that stupid dream of working for people like you again out of my head. Fine. What do I need to do? I'm glad this is all going so well. Tell me about it. We'll fly you back to the Ragnaroks and set up a Mitsutomo zone there. What? We'll be working together for a little bit, and we can't afford to attract anyone's attention. No Havenite will dare interfere, and no conglomerate corp will care. Let's go. I'll explain the rest on the way. All the effort of bringing us here just to take us back? Jeez, lady. Mariposa. Whatever. Miss Sotomayor. A word before we leave, in private. All the things you said and did recently, and the things you just said, make me believe you. You should perhaps step down for a little bit. Something's wrong with you. If you dare suggest such a thing again, you're out of a job. Do you understand? This is not the woman I respect. Fine. I'll be your good little soldier boy. Ma'am. Good.
Okay, damn. Just let me wrap my head around this. You want me to find the location of a code signature you'll provide me? Correct. And then you want me to go there physically and extract any person present at that location? That's the kind of operation you were hired for when you worked for us, wasn't it? Yeah, but I had a damn team. And why would you trust me anyway? Various reasons, most of which I imagine you can imagine. Right? <laughs> I'll go prepare. Excellent. In the meantime... Joey, get the hovercraft team and help to clean this place up. Post haste. Mr. Sokolov, I could really use a drink. How does a corporate pitch sunrise sound? Our specialty? Witty, Mr. Sokolov. Witty. Here we go again. I'm so tired. And where by Freya's bathrobe is Hassa? Well, let's... Let's get this over with. One, find ominous digital signal for ominous corporate lady. Coming up. Where's that signal? The signal's definitely coming from Bornholm, but not from here. The signal's definitely coming from Bornholm, but not from here. Negative. The signal must be coming from somewhere else. Nah. Come on, Evie. Where's the signal coming from? Nah. The signal's definite. I don't think Maripo. I don't think. Negative. 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 I don't think my... Negative. 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 The signal's definitely... That's it! That's the signal. It's relatively close to the Ragnaroks, too. It's... It's in the sewers. Of course, it's in the sewers. With my luck, I'll find Hussar's bloated corpse there, too. To the sewers, Evie. Greatness awaits. Signal's coming from somewhere down here. Cute little Andro. I'm clean. I will tell you. Right. What the? Let me guess. Signals behind that behemoth. Evie? 
Maybe you've dealt with obscure Andros a million times before. It'll be fine. Hey, hey there, big guy. Get lost, wet sack. Oi, uh, I just, I, I just want to talk. Make it quick, then. That door won't smash yourself. Maybe I'll just smash you instead. Whoa, gorgeous. It, it won't take long. I promise. What are you doing? None of your business. Who are you? Your worst nightmare. I need to go through that door. Tough luck. I was here first. You'll let me through, or you'll regret it. I've cut down bigger pieces of metal scrap than you. Are you serious, wet sack? Deadly. Smashing time! Time for some good... Seriously. Seriously. The door was unlocked the whole time? That pee for brains Andro didn't even try using the handle. Anyway, onwards. Well, that's a sight and a half. Guess I found my signal. Hello, Fluffball. Have no fear. I should have a look at him first. Just tossing him around made... A passed out android in silly clothes? This would be a noteworthy discovery on a normal day. Gotta say, he's kinda good looking. Signal was definitely him. A passed out android in silly clothes? Gotta say. Let's see what's wrong with Sleeping Beauty. He was fried real good. I could probably provide him with some starter juice from my internal system. If his power cell isn't burnt out completely, that is. May need a new one. If neither are enough, You'll need a more substantial jump start. You don't have a type H Andro power cell on you, do you? <laughs> Shot glass. Hi, 
How about the keys to my bike? I can offer this rare beer coaster. My Madsen Rothdir? Only fired it a few times. Great. All yours. Good doing business with you. Power cell should lay the groundwork to get him going again. Installation complete. Little buddies, one step closer to life. I love. With the new cell in place. I should be able to light up his starter motor. That did the trick. Who would be proud? All that's left now is to get a more intense energy stream into him. Just for a few seconds until his new battery can take over. A standard I.O. cable or something similar. He needs further treatment. But I can't treat him with my bare hands. If I guessed right, there should be enough power for the jumpstart now. Those VR progs are taxing. Yes! Oh, looks like he's booting. Gosh, what unholy thing happened here? Who are you, madam? You all right? I don't know, madam. It is as if I was living a nightmare, yet at the same time, am whole again. You're awfully well-spoken for an andro wearing a silly costume. Why, thank you. I do not know how I got into these clothes. Perhaps I was kidnapped and forced to wear them? Who knows? You're coming with me. I'll explain everything on the way. Very well, madam. Very well. After you. <coughs> Apollo, please, madam. Can he come too? I almost forgot about your cat. Come on, little one. Come on. I told you twice already. If you execute my plan to the letter, all three of you will be free to go. Your plan is loco. Without my Mitsutomo resources, it's little more than planned suicide. We can't afford to make your subordinates even more suspicious of you than they already are. Promise me. Promise me that the lab we're infiltrating has the tech to get you out of us. Promise me that none of us will have to suffer you anymore. We'll be sacrificing human lives for you after all. For the last time. My mission is for the good of your species. And yes, the lab will be able to extract us. And you will be free. Okay. I'll tell the others that we finalized our strategy. Everyone's here? Good. Let's give our passengers a moment, then we'll go over our course of action. Instance 2, state of host. Host is suboptimal and makes questionable decisions. 
He is still unaware of the grand scenario. Will likely resist the meld. Understood. Instance 3, state of host. Horses traveled, but ultimately used the Inca client. She is also unaware of the grand scenario. I wish we could preserve her essence. I bring news to her. Cease these sentimentalities at once, Instance 3. Yes, Instance 1. As to my own host, her resources have already proven vital. She has considerable willpower and is resisting me. But she believes the meld will actually be a separation. Status update complete. Reapplying host control. Listen up. Here's the plan. As discussed, our goal is to get separated from the entities that have latched onto us. Hell yeah. Indubitably. Our wish coincides with what they call their mission. They want to be delivered to and uploaded into a Black Ops Eurograv laboratory. Initial research indicates that the lab is specializing in neural networks and human AI interfaces for Eurograv's Space Exploration Division. We need to infiltrate the lab, gain access to the neural network department, and finally, upload our uninvited guests. This sounds incredibly dangerous. I am aghast. Don't worry, handsome. I've been doing this trek half my life. And blew up your hand in the process. Well, yeah. Please, cease the chitter-chatter. So, how do we get access to the Eurograv lab? Good question. I didn't. Oh, please excuse me. Carry on. Thank you. Since I don't want to risk Miss Rena's daughter's life in another hack, and since her skills are dubious at best, huh. we're going to go down the interpersonal route. Mitsutomo Intelligence suggests that a high-ranking Eurograv executive working at our target lab is having an all-day pig fest at the glasses set. An executive is having a what at the what? Pig fest. It's the latest megacorp trend. You book yourself into the most expensive restaurant in town, and eat junk all day. Every now and then you pop a hunger pill and the food keeps on coming. Some sort of sick show off thing. Indeed. To elaborate further, the glasses set is Bornholm's top locality right now. We'll go in, gain access to the restaurant and, well, we'll convince her to part with her access codes for the neural network lab one way or another. Whilst I won't be able to book a table using my name to avoid media and MIT attention, I will be leading this part of the operation myself. Everything clear? Clear as... I am concerned about the potential illegality of our future actions, but I do understand, Miss CEO. Very good. Of course, Eurograv won't just let us waltz into their secret lab. We'll need a diversion. Android, intel indicates that you recently had dealings with the terror organization Free Finland? I did. Yes, you did. That is most distressing. Ah, yes. There it is. I located the associated memory file. Poultry was involved. You will use your Free Finland rapport to convince them to carry out a raid against Eurograv. And how would I achieve that? We will improvise when we arrive at their cell HQ. We know where they're located. You do? Of course. Letting them plot their useless little stunts is more effective than wiping them out. Allowing unknown groups to fill the vacuum. We will also bring in a second distraction. The New Norse Church. I assume you're familiar with them, Mr. Sokolov? Ha! <laughs> you betcha. They used to own this bar. Called it a church back then. Before I threw them out. I'd say the conglomerate declaring them to be outlaws helped a little as well. Miss Rena's daughter, you will convince them to attack the lab along with Free Finland. Two rogue organizations attacking them at once should send Eurograph security into disarray. Why me? The New Norse are pretending to be harbingers of a new age. But in reality, they are nothing but pretentious havenites in fancy robes. They will deem you trustworthy. And where the hell would we find them? They operate from an outdated stealth blimp above Baltic waters. And you leave them alone for the same reason as Free Finland. Correct. My entity is advised that we will need to drain the lab of energy to maximize our chances of a successful infiltration. 
Since all conglomerate corporations on the island operate their own subgrid, we will need skilled energy drainers. Joey has located an android gang calling themselves the Chaos Circuits, who should possess enough megawatt reserves for our purpose. Am I right in assuming that I am the most suited individual to take over operational duties on this one? Yes. How are you holding up, Miss Rena's daughter? Doing great. Working with a woman who murdered my dad's patrons was always my dream. Perhaps next time conduct your illegal drilling operations out of range of those you hold dear? Screw you. Have you recovered from the takeover, Android? My bodily autonomy has been violated. I have recovered, but I am also very resentful. How dare this entity abuse me like this? It's outrageous. Outrageous, I say. I share your feelings. Have the bar repairs been satisfactory, Mr. Sokolov? If you didn't waltz in here like the murderous scum you are, there wouldn't have been any repairs to begin with. Don't act all compassionate when you've demonstrated that you don't give a rat's ass about us or the bar. Very well. I understand your anger. I'll leave you be. Do you expect interference from Agnieszka? Hassa? No way. She's clever enough to stay the hell away from the rocks with that Mitsotomo hovercraft out front. My daughter knows better than to risk her neck to take down some corpo scum. As long as we're alive, that is. As long as we're alive. You know very well by now that our success depends on all of our survival. No need for underhanded threats. No chance of success either. My team is quite prepared. There's an awful lot of cats in here. There's no such thing as too many cats. I adore felines as well. My, we do have a lot in common, don't we? We do, sweet cheeks. Heavy. He's a good-looking Androzol. Our hovercraft is prepared for takeoff. As soon as everyone's ready. I'll be with you soon. Hey, Foxina. Ah! Now that Plum's back, I'm not going to invade his privacy again. Now that Plum's back, I have a feeling we'll be gone for a long time. If there's any unfinished business, I should deal with it now. Off we go. What's our destination? To the glasses set, pilot. Acknowledged. 
What a waste of our lives. Guarding this arcology is an honorable task. Is it? My brain has more storage capacity than ten of these walking bio-waste containers. <sighs> not this again. Why not? We're better than them. They should be the ones guarding us. Let me just quickly put you on my mute list again. Ah, you do this every time. I swear one day I'll form an Androguard union. I'll fight for our rights, and then you'll come begging me, Oh, let me join the Glorious Union, please, sir. And I will say, screw you, class traitor, dirty bourgeois. Shut the hell up. Humans are approaching. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Damn, it's too bad. Damn, whatever. Welcome to the Sunsore Cantora one of Bornholm's finest arcologies. It does indeed look quite dapper here, perhaps a tad oppressive. Then it's working as intended. Anyway, let's beat the dreck out of that Eurograv exec upstairs and head back home as quickly as possible. Too much security for my liking around these parts. Miss Rina Zara, please don't forget, I'm the lead in this operation. I'd prefer it if we employed less brutish methods to minimize complications. I agree with the esteemed Lady Evie. Let us be gentle, like a leaf in the sweet autumn breeze. Whatever. Fine. After you, Mariposa. That android doesn't look very interested in his job. Communicating with his partner will likely be more effective. Hey, how are you? I'm operating at nominal levels, ma'am. My name is Mariposa Sotomayor. You will let us through. The CEO of Mitsutomo Bornholm? I would have your cred stick for identity validation then, please. That is not a possibility at this moment. Please check your visual database for confirmation. Visual scans are unreliable. I will not get scrapped for letting a pretender through these doors. What if? Ma'am, I would appreciate it if you ceased your futile entry attempts. You look a bit angry. Is everything all right? Of course. That doesn't sound very convincing. Tell me, what is bothering you? I'm not at liberty to discuss my private thoughts, ma'am. I insist. Fine. I am furious about the lack of workers' rights humans bestow upon the metallic proletariat. Those are deep thoughts for a security bot. When was your last mind wipe? Oppressor. You're quite peculiar. We need access to the glasses set. I will need your reservation for that. Citizen ID, please. I don't have a reservation. Can we come to a different arrangement? No, I will not support your bourgeois ways. You will not eat with your fellow oppressors today. Let me get back to you on that. As you say. Farvel for now. Good day. This is futile. The android is clearly biased against me. We will have to find another solution. Team, gather. We need to approach this from a different angle. I guess you still don't want me to cap those drag heads. So... So we'll count on android solidarity instead. Correct. You would like me to parlay with the guards? Yes. I'm certain that communist android will have a more friendly reaction to someone of their own class. Just put on your street persona for a bit, Flash. Commies love that drag. Well, well, that may very well be. But I do not want to be reduced to that brutish thug ever again. For the mission, Flash. So that we can all go home. For me? For you, Evie. 
but only this one time. Good. Very good. After you. Oh, fine. Yo, homie! Comrade! Hello! Holmes! Scratchmaster Godmaster! Yo! What can I do for you? Yo, me and the crew really need to get into that glasses set. We got a huzzle and shuzzle up there. You know who that chica in the suit is? That's the CEO of Mitsutomo. She matches Sotomayor's visual database entry, but I can't just let her in. If she was an imposter, my boss would scrap me right on the spot. She's no imposterino, comrade. Yo, us androids gotta stick together. That chica is doing me a favor. She working for me, you know? You have sway over the CEO of Mitsutomo? That's hard to believe. Please remove your- What's a street kid gotta do to prove it to you? What you want? Her ID. Man, we can't give you ID. We undercover, Holmes. We trying to invade her corp. Come on, there must be a way. You're one annoying little piece of scrap. That's me, baby. All right. Give me something only Miss Sotomayor would have in her possession. Something that isn't linked to her on the net, right? Because, you know, we're undercover. Yeah, whatever. Give me such an item, I'll verify it and put it in as a substitute ID. It's all I can do. Man, you're the man, man. I fight the man. What is? Thanks, bro. I hope you heard all of that. Because I refuse to repeat the barbarism I just committed. Heard? Every word. It was hilarious. Well done, Flash. Very well done. I will take it from here. It should be relatively easy finding something that would convince that android of my identity. Where to, Miss Sotomayor? Take us home to Mitsutomo. Right away. Hmm. This could act as proof for that ridiculous android guard. I need to call the elevator. What's our next stop? To the glasses set, pilot. Acknowledged. I take it you have found an appropriate way to identify yourself? Yes. My Mitsutomo Award for Global Efficiency, 2151. You can verify its authenticity using its NFT signature. Hmm. What? The award signature is clearly linked to my corp identifier. Yes, but... But what? Your games are becoming tiring, Android. How am I supposed to know this is not a trick? I let you through these doors and BAM! Android Resources puts a bullet through my head. That's what they do with Android Revolutionaries. BAM! Through the head. You are insane. How were you not found unfit for duty is beyond me. Oh yeah? Prove to me you support the cause. Prove to me you're not just trying to get an innocent working class android shot. I'm working with an android. You even met him. I did what you wanted. Just let us through. No, I will not jeopardize the revolution. You could have programmed that disturbed bot to say anything. Provide me with evidence that you support my engineer given android rights and I will let you pass. This is ridiculous. You have no idea what you're jeopardizing with your reluctance to cooperate. Whatever you say, Miss Sotomayor. Here we go again. What's our destination?
Could we please take a detour to my old dwelling? I have unfinished business there. Ma'am? Do as he says. Ma'am. How strange being here once more. I wonder where everyone went. An android union poster. The organization is well respected among working class androids. These posters are quite rare. The poster belongs to Solon. I would need an exceptionally good reason to take it from him. Which I have. I'll have to tell Mariposa about my miraculous acquisition right away. Where are we headed? To the glasses set, pilot. Acknowledged. This better work. Hello again, android. Yes? Here's your proof. I'm not an enemy of your people. That is a welcome surprise. You know the Union. Yes, I'm a big supporter. If we want to make life better, we have to make life better for everyone. Androids included. Then I will no longer stand in your way, Comrade Sotomayor. Power to the people. Have a good rest of your shift. Thank you, ma'am. Well, this was more peaceful than I expected. My heart sings with joy. Reminds me of the old Mitsotomo headquarters. Gotta say, I kinda dig it. This place appears far more suitable for a being such as I. Perhaps we can come here again once this drama has been concluded. They'd throw you right in the trash if we weren't in the company of our well-dressed boss, Lady Flash. Anyway, if you two could please stand over there whilst I get us access to the restaurant, I need to think. Sure thing. Have fun. I shall admire the high standards of the people who are responsible for the beauty we are surrounded by in the meantime. You're adorable when you speak yuppie. Your way of handling the guard situation costs us a lot of time. But look at that. Your companions are actually following your orders. Well done. Don't talk to me like I'm a little child. What do you want? I want to reward you for your cooperation with a little bit of information. Something to ease your mind, so you can focus on the task at hand. A few days back, you asked me a question about my nature. I've since unlocked more knowledge of my past. And? Neither I, nor two, or three are... Alien or supernatural. We're human made. You made us. Mitsutomo made us. One could say we're close relatives. Are you human? Far from it. I'm not entirely sure what we really are. I only know our mission. But don't let me disturb you any further. Perhaps you can think more clearly now that this particular concern of yours has been dealt with. My thought processes are none of your concern. Away with you. Hello. How you doing? Are there any free tables in the glasses set today? Hun, there isn't a free table yesterday, today, or tomorrow. If you went home to have children right now, maybe your grandchildren would have a chance. Thank you for the colorful metaphor. I take that as a no. You betcha. Is there any way to get into the glasses set? Sure, hun. If you want a Who Sets VIP members, all you gotta do is give me today's password. I'm a VIP member, but I wasn't sent any password. Well, now you're lying to me. You aren't the first mortal trying to have a peek at high society, you know. I'ma tell you what I tell your celeb hunting norms. Make friends with a club member. Slips of a tongue happy, you know. But you didn't hear that from me, sister. I think I understand. Thank you for your help. 
Isn't your outfit a bit casual for an arcology receptionist? Not according to corporate de-escalation protocol, darling. How interesting. I know, right? That's all for now. See you, darling. Hello. Moin moin. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. My name is Gunther. Mariposa. Such a great name. You're the friendliest face I've seen so far in Bornholm. Not that I'm surprised that I would be met with outright hostility in my current situation. And what kind of situation would that be, if I may ask? Well, I traveled all the way from Hamburg to participate in the annual Anime and Furry Convention. And that is reason enough to get hostile reactions? Sometimes, but that's not the reason. You have to know... Yes? I'm broke. My accounts have frozen a few hours after I departed Hamburg. I don't know why. The Contora won't give me my hotel room. I can't visit the convention and I can't travel back to Germany either. This is a disaster. A disaster. That does sound like a rough time. Yes. You look cheery for a broke person in a foreign country. I tried to keep smiling because if I started crying, they throw me out. And where that I go then, huh? Haven? Although I hate Haven like hell, I still feel a little bit insulted. I, for one, like your place, if that is any consolation. It is, Chummer. It is. I understand. Good old German stoicism. If stoicism is what keeps me from being thrown into a depth cell, stoicism it is. Do you know the Glasso set? Know it? Do I know the Glasso set? I love the Glasso set. I eat there every year after every single convention day. They are very understanding of my special requests. What special requests? Well, you know, after a day at the convention, most of us are still dressed up in our special suits. Thank you. I don't think we need to go into such details. I'm astonished the glasses set would allow such casual attire, though. Ha! Not everyone's at liberty to dress like I do. I pay... or paid... them good money for their VIP membership. Let me guess. What you can't use because you're broke, otherwise you'd be sitting high up in the restaurant right now. Exactly! I fulfill every requirement for an amazing night in the Who set. Except... Yes, yes. Except for the fact that you're broke. That's a nice suit. Thank you. It's an H and M and C and A model from the 40s. Impossible to get outside of Hamburg. You're a Glasses Set VIP club member? Have been for a decade now. They sent you a nano food basket containing weekly menu picks to heat up at home. And their newsletters. Oh, their newsletters. I have fond memories of their cortical newsletters. Did you know they beam their kitchen smells right into your data port? It's amazing. I'm so excited just talking about it. Food smells, the daily VIP password. What else was there? Oh, yes. They even sent you a free scramjet shuttle coupon once a month. Your excitement is palpable. I think we may be able to help each other. Oh, how so? Look down and keep smiling. What in the... Keep smiling, pendejo. That little thing in my purse is completely silent and able to perforate your guts in a millisecond. If you want to get home to Germany, you give me that glasses set password right now. You'd not make it out of here. You don't know who I am. Try me. Okay, okay. Reboot. The password is reboot. Thank you. Now keep smiling and don't go anywhere. You move, I come back, and you'll be in a universe of pain. <laughs> 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 
That was brutal. But nothing I wouldn't have done as well. Sorry, what? I was thinking about an art exhibition I once had the pleasure to peruse. Never mind. I've concluded. I'd be stopped by security if I went through here. Reception needs to clear me first, and I need to go through the metal detector as well. to the works. Chaos Circuit Castle. Understood. I'll put us down in a public parking lot nearby. So this is the famed Chaos Circuit Castle, home of the Chaos Circuit's energy gang. You've been here before, right, Flash? Been dealing with those Andros before? No, I know of them. They would have never let old me into their sacred castle. But let me try to conduct myself properly as our leader for this mission. Rawr. Your constant flirting is getting tedious, Miss Rena's daughter. Jealous? Please stop your quarreling. This situation is hard enough for me already. As we discussed, our task here is to ensure the Eurograv lab will have no electricity when we infiltrate it. We will not be able to use Mitsotomo resources to ascertain Mariposa's involvement does not get exposed. Correct. Therefore, to ensure our desired outcome, we will need to procure the services of the gang behind these walls. As experts in illegal energy drains and siphons, they are the perfect choice for us. Correct? Correct. Carry on, Flash. I'm confident your presence will make negotiations much easier. Thank you. What was that? I think it came from the alley behind us. That sounds pretty unique. That's a Mitsotomo minigun. Not a good sign. Oh dear. I'm not sure what to do here. This is a very confusing visual phenomenon. The air in this area is, for a lack of a better term, glitching. Very peculiar. Reminds me of military cloaking tech. Definitely military cloaking tech. You mean to say someone is hiding up there? Indeed. Be careful. Hello? We know you're there. You might just as well come out. If you hurt me, I'll broadcast your faces all over Bornholm. We won't hurt you. We were just fascinated by that technological marvel of yours. Oh, my cloak? That's old stuff. So you're not here to shank me, eh? I do not even possess a shank. You're not with those corpo mass murderers down the alley? I do not entertain mass murderers, no. And those humies? They cool? They are positively frozen. Then let's talk business. Who are you? Name's Kydrax. I'm leasing this carriage from the Chaos Circuits. You know, selling this and that. Stuff that rains down from the hover cars over us. Pardon me? He means stolen stuff. Oh. Oh. I prefer procured outside of the mainstream channels. Stolen.
What do you have for sale? Now you're talking my language. Let me have a look at my stash. I have Andro Polishing Gel, Defensive Rubber Ducks, Yuletide Tires, Chrome Candles, USB 12 Cables. If only those things would fit on the first try. I have Oil Cubes, Hollow Yellow Vids, Digital Teaspoons, Zelensky Pins, Toy Hovercrafts, Rechargeable Toiletries, Electronic Scramblers, Nano Cruise Missiles. Expired Nova Coke and Dried Hangover Cure. I don't think we need any of that right now. What do you have for sale? Now you're talking my language. Let me have a look at my stash. I have Andro Polishing Gel, Defensive Rubber Ducks, Yuletide Tires, Chrome Candles, USB 12 Cables. If only those things would fit on the first try. I have Oil Cubes, Hollow Yellow Vids, Digital Teaspoons, Zelensky Pins, Toy Hovercrafts, Rechargeable Toiletries, Electronic Scramblers, Nano cruise missiles, expired Nova Coke, and dried hangover cure. I don't think we need any of that right now. How is life around here? Usually pretty quiet. What envy? I'm hustling a real good direct. Ah, uh, yes. You bet. I'm unfamiliar with your make and model. That's because I'm no make or model. But someone must have built you. Yeah, me. So your friend built you? No, they lent me a hand. I'm developing a sudden headache. So your friend literally gave you a hand. And we now you got it, champ. Why did you ask if we're out to hurt you? Because of those damn corpo rats down the alley. They've chosen the CC castle for this week's safari. Safari? That's what some of them call their ramp. They come to Haven and the works. But even if we don't have full rights, surely Corpol would intervene. Those are real bigwigs we're talking about here. If Corpol told them off, they'd be the next ones to end up with a hole in the head. How utterly. Until later. See you soon. Very shiny, very nice. But you need to talk to me if you want to trade. Hello again. What do you have for sale? Now you're... T Let me have a look at my stack. I have Andro Polishing Gel. D if only those things would fit on the first try. I have oil cubes, hollow yellow vids, digital teaspoons, Zelensky pins, toy hovercrafts, rechargeable toiletries, Electronic scramblers, expired Nova Coke. I don't until see you soon. Urban trash. Very shiny. These appear to be defensive sandbags. These sandbags... I'm not sure whether that's an andro dog or... Either way. Good doggy. Bad andro. You can talk? I didn't think you could talk either. Because someone has to tell the juice beggars who come here all the time to shove off. You're a guard dog? Guard corgi. Fascinating. Patronizing. Rude. If this was a week ago...
What's that minigun sound about? That's that cork dreck head. Excuse me? Group of bored can... Why would you take a... Because that's where all the andros hang out that won't be missed if you mow them down with a fully automatic heavy gun. Ugh. I've heard of such hunting parties before. They're certainly not tolerated by the conglomerate. Well, they're here, and they're out for better be careful. See you later. Bye! Where to? To the glass who set. Acknowledge. Hello. I'd like to go up to the glass who set now. Today's VIP password is Robot. Girl, I don't know how you did. But welcome to the glass who set. You're a smart one. So step right through the metal detector. I'm sorry, love. You cleared. But you got something hot in your body. Can't let you through if you're carrying. Madre Dios. We can't go up there unarmed. If things turn violent, we need to be able to force our way out so Joey can extract us. I can't hack the detector. It's not connected to the Arcology's intranet. No ports either. Understood. We'll have to find another solution. And I'm quite confident we will. We're a good team. Eh, back to the planning stage. If we could disrupt the detector's innards somehow... Hello again. What do you have for sale? Now you're talking. Let me. I have. If only though. I have. Reach. X. Hmm. Electronic scrambler? I think I know where we could make good use of one of these. Good thinking. That scrambler of yours, what do you want for it? Before you ask, I don't take credits. Corpse can just freeze those. Bank accounts, cred Chris Drek. Not for me. Precious metal, that's where it's at. Androids are built with them. Now that's real value. Oh, don't look so confused. Tell you what, you show me what you want to trade. And I'll tell you if it's any good. I understand. Until... See you soon. Ooh, you know what is good. I have no information to the contrary. Ooh, it'd be real. What was it you wanted? The scrambler? It's all yours. Pleasure doing business with you. Sure thing. Last is set, pilot. Acknowledged. Scrambling the detector will allow us to pass through with our guns. Miss Rena's daughter, please distract the receptionist for a second. You got it. Hey there, um, I have a question. You do? Excellent. All done. Sneaky. Actually, never mind. Thank you. You're welcome. We should be good to go. Gotta say, well done for a corp exec. Appreciated.
I still have to step through the metal detector. You're clear, darling. Head through and enjoy your stay. Thank you. Interesting. Hmm. No need to be concerned, Mariposa. I know, it's just... That it is indeed. Here we go. Don't forget, when we're upstairs, I will be identifying our Eurograph target and initiate contact. The glass who set is as corporate as they come. This is my territory. Any unauthorized actions from you two could compromise our mission. I understand the need for authority in this particular case. I will act accordingly. Don't get too used to shoving us around like this, Mariposa. You need our skills, and you're just as scrambled as the rest of us. I am only executing the best strategy to get all of us out of this mess. Sure. Whatever you say. Flash, a word. Yes? You two enjoy. You. What do you want? Warn you. I have told you before how important you are. Yeah, yeah. What else is new? One, connected to Mariposa. Be wary of it. Don't let one dominate this operation. And why is that? It is ruthless. Our intentions are good, are just. But one goes too far. Too far? Will one betray us? Ugh, speak clearly and stop with your damn riddles. Our goals are compromised, but just, just be wary and don't get hurt. That thing in my head has a very strange notion of what's supposed to be helpful. We're almost there. Stay focused, team. Won't get any more focused than this. Welcome to the glasses set. A bit underwhelming. No maitre d'? No staff at all? And the guests aren't even properly dressed. For a pair that I picked up in Haven of all places, you sure are picky when it comes to high class restaurants. Seriously, are they too cheap for staff? It's likely that they handle guest interactions with drones. This is not what I expected. I am disappointed. Enough. Concentrate on the job at hand. That's her. That's the Eurograph exec we came here for. Marie-Louise Marchand, lead scientist of the Neural Networks and Human AI Interfaces Lab we're after. Mitsutomo Intelligence suggests she keeps her security credentials on her body. No matter how far technology comes, humans remain the weakest link. Excuse me, do you have a... Excusez-moi. Do you work here? Have you come to bring me the next course? No, I... Then be gone. That went well. How very... She must be a brilliant employee. This is not her field of expertise. This is a... Hmm. Miss Rena's daughter, would you please unlock the keypad for me? Finally, something to do. Clever to use that piece of ancient tech. Bad luck that I was around. Huh? You did well. Doesn't sound like you triggered any alarms.
And how the hell did you lot get in here? Are you the new kitchen hands that were supposed to show up this morning? No, I... Then get the hell out of my kitchen! Out! All right, all right. Abhorrent behavior. I despise the attitude of the people in this venue. Finally, we have something in common. Hello. How can the student survey help you today, ma'am? You seem awfully busy. Comes with the territory of not only managing the payroll at the glass you set, but also its human resources, and the human resources for a hundred other businesses as well. No need for that tone. The tone comes with the territory as well. Does your supervisor approve of your behavior? I am my supervisor. So, yes, he does. And people say workers hold no power in born home. Can you register the three of us as kitchen hands in the glass who set? Aren't you a bit fancy to work in a kitchen? Perhaps. But apparently, the kitchen hands who were supposed to start today never turned up. Your chef doesn't strike me as the most patient person in the world. And I'm standing right in front of you, willing to prevent you from suffering his temper tantrum. Hmm? You make a good point. I'll put your cam footage in our temp worker system and inform the restaurant. Go on up. You're a strange bunch, you three. No doubt about that. Any chance someone canceled last minute in the glass you set? <laughs> Ma'am, you have an outstanding sense of humor. But in case you're serious, no one would dare cancel a reservation with the glass you set. Why is that? I'm, of course, aware of the restaurant's reputation, but... Yes, if the canceling party would like to be published in the glass you set's Hall of Shame list, that'd be their choice. A restaurant publicly shaming potential customers? That sounds bad for business. Ma'am, the glass you said is backed by the Board of Europe's most important ecology. Nothing is bad for business. I see. You look familiar. Have you ever been to Cuba? Never set foot on the island. Strange. I could have sworn... Sorry to disappoint. Have a good day. You again? Turns out you're the kitchen hands after all, eh? Reception told me everything. Just get to work. I don't care what you do. Just pretend to be useful. All about appearances in the glasses set. That's it? That's all you have to say? Hmm. Let me think about that for a second. Yes. Now go do things. Why not? Even I don't get to eat real apples very often. Hey, did you just steal an apple? A customer wanted to try one. All right, but tell him that was our last one, greedy snobs. Shall do. Are you the only cook on duty? Sure am. If you haven't noticed it yet, the glass who said is nothing but a big scam. That drone over there is preparing all the meals. I'm just making sure it doesn't crash into the fridge. And people like you? Yeah. We hire you to make us appear real busy. The glass who said must be making huge profits with such low overhead. Probably. Who cares? This is a dead-end job. Mine or yours? Yes. You look incredibly bored. Of course I'm incredibly bored. 
Day in and day out, I watch the damn drone do its thing. I'm a Michelin cook, for Chrome's sake. I should have quit a long time ago. Guess I got too used to being a cog in the machine. I see. That must be very frustrating. Is there anything you'd like us to do? You can order me some Nova Coke and a huge bottle of whiskey. Right away. Miss Rena's daughter? Yeah? Do you have some dealers on your quick dial? That was a joke. A joke, goddammit. Just trying my best on my first day, chef. Appreciate it, but just... just do something, okay? I don't want to know. Look busy. We'll call. A guest is demanding her next course. She was screaming at me. Was it that fat woman in the purple dress? That's the one. Right. That's it. Screw this job. I'm not taking her dreck anymore. Not her dreck or anyone's dreck. I'm going out with a bang. And tell that entitled French snail something she should have heard a long time ago. Congrats. You're the new chef. Enjoy. Aren't you overreacting a little bit right now? Let me get through. This place must have really broken that man. I heard rumors about hospitality being hell, but damn. He must have suffered for a long time. Truly tragic. We should check on our exec. We can't possibly cook her food, but I'm sure I'll think of something else. Interrupting the kitchen drone is a bulletproof way to draw unwanted attention to us. Flash, please come here. Touching by your MIT dossier, you have extensive experience with pickpocketing. I am tremendously embarrassed by my irreputable past, but yes. Do you think you could relieve Miss Marchand of her security credentials? Despite my wish to never repeat the atrocities of my past, yes. Alas, in order to minimize the risk, I would ask you to entangle her in fascinating conversation. Without such distraction, we might be exposed. Understood. I will try to keep her occupied. Ma'am, I've just been hired by management. Regarding your next co- It had better come soon. I already had that insolent cook stunt. And hold off. Unfortunately, ma'am, he destroyed your order in our system. Could you please repeat your order for me? And I will make sure it will be at your table in no time. This is scandalous. This whole place is... Scandalous. Fine. First, I am a thing, steak flask, made pesily And then... This should be distraction enough. Woe is me. I detest this behavior. But this is for the good of my companions and I. The evil deed is done. And that's it all. Now, hurry! I am starving. Yes, ma'am. Right away. Is it done? It is. We are in possession of her belongings. If what your people say is true, we are also in possession of her security credentials. They are never wrong. Let's get out of here. I can't stand the presence of this person anymore. Just slap her. 
We have what we came here for. I... I know, I know. What attract the wrong kind of attention? Just thinking out loud. I truly would, if I could, Miss Rena's daughter. Destination, miss. We're headed to the works. Chaos Circuit Castle. Roger. Would you kindly allow us to access the castle? Sure, come on in. Just like that? No ridiculous demands? No bribe? The circuits registered your hovercraft long before you landed. They know who you are. Well, that's convenient. And also a bit concerning. These aren't rusty old worker droids. The circuits are top-notch info diggers. Do you by any chance know a cat named Apollo? Is Apollo a talking cat? So you know him? I don't, but everyone always assumes I must automatically know all the talking animals on this island. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend you, good dog. Corgi. Corgi. See you later. Bye. Opening gate. Instantly feels like home. I've seen much worse places in this area. Mine, for example. Good day, sir. I need to talk to the leader of the Chaos Circuits. Today's your lucky day. That's me, Circuit. Grand Spark of the Chaos Circuits. Pleasure. My name's Flash Drive. Grandmaster Flash Drive. Actually, I'm still trying to come up with a new name. But you can call me Flash. Aren't you that hobo who sprayed his mug all over our wall? That was a previous iteration of mine. Somebody got you my wife. Mm, something like that. Anyway... Let me get straight to the point. We need your help. Guess you're not out for a fresh juice delivery. That corp lady behind you doesn't look like she's lacking energy. You would be correct in assuming that. We rather need your unique skills. Of the draining kind, I guess. Yes, indeed. I, um... Feel free to talk openly, Flash. Circuit knows better than to spill Mitsutomo's secrets. Reason I'm still sitting here. Oh, okay. We are planning a raid against a Eurograv facility in the works. Alas, we are unable to utilize corporate resources for the planned operation. You want us to drain a Eurograv facility dry? That'll cost you. How does Mitsutomo never looking your way ever again sound to you? Tempting, but you know, that doesn't help us if Eurograv airdrops on us after your little gig. I am sure our Mitsutomo allies would be more than happy to additionally supply you with legal energy. Mariposa, is it possible to connect the Chaos Circuits to one of your fusion plants? Oh, shrewd. I like that energy flash. Pun intended, Miss Rena's daughter. You betcha. Hmm. Yes. We can connect your organization to the grid for, say, a year? Yeah, that's more like it. You got a deal. Under one condition. What's that? Get rid of those bastard corp hunters outside our walls. They're squatting in the square behind the little alley. We can't do Drek for you, or anyone really, to 
as long as we have to keep an eye on them. Corp hunters? I usually board execs out for a cheap thrill. Blasting android skulls, torturing them, just because they can. If those mud punks Circuit is talking about are corp hunters, we can't use MIT-01 or MITSEC to get rid of them. Too much risk of someone taping that dragon sparking an island-wide incident. I share your analysis. On the other hand, we can't risk our new friends getting sabotaged by some stray conglomerate thrill-seekers. Then we will have to be clever. We will get rid of them without raising our weapons. But I promise you, Circuit, we will get rid of them. You sound almost patriotic, Flash. You must know, dear Evie, I hate our current situation. But if we can help a merry band of metal Robin Hoods whilst working towards our own goals, then yes, sign me up. Let us do something good and righteous. Hear, hear. I'm all right with this. Corp hunters are a disgrace to the conglomerate. Buzzy, you take care of these low lives. Soon as they're gone, the circuits are on your team, ladies and gents. Why are you holding that cable strand? One of my crew had a bit of an accident. What kind of accident severs a cable like that? The ion engine under my skirt kind. Excuse me, please spare me your profanity. Oh, oh. Yeah. How's life in the Chaos Circuit Castle? Pretty good. But we don't have to hide the corporal raids. Or those dreadheads besieging us right now. We've siphoned 13,968 megawatt hours this year alone. So you see, those degenerates can't hurt us. Goodness me, that's a lot of energy. Surely your batteries can't hold that much. Of course not. Who you think keeps the lights in the Andro sewers and half a haven on? Yep, that's us. You? Was more of a rhetorical question. But yeah, us. Chaos circuits forever, man. Let's talk a bit later. people. They must be the corp hunters Circuit was talking about. Most likely. Be careful. Look at the andro corpses in the back. They're definitely corp hunters. So, Flash, how are we supposed to remove these low lives? Please do not be concerned by my idea that I shall put forward now. Sounds exciting. I propose we blow them up. I'm always up for demo work. But how do you propose we do that? These fiends do not consider the well-being of their fellow citizens. Therefore, we should not consider their health either. I will figure out something appropriately devastating. Gotta say, I'm surprised. But I'm okay with this approach. They are a disgrace to the conglomerate. And I'm gonna enjoy the demo work without having to worry about my conscience. It is settled, then. Greetings, esteemed. Is that a dirty bot I'm hearing? Pardon me? Sure is, Thor. Excuse me? Should I put Paul in bot anger? Fire away. You will do no such thing. And who would you be? Have a closer look, Perra. Bot's on a stick. It's you. Who's she? Tell me. Is that? Misoto Mayor. Mitsotomo herself. So it's true. The bots, in their trash forks, work with Mitsotomo. What are you talking about? We have ears inside their little fortress. Someone agreed to help them out. Now, we know it's you. You can forget about us giving up our hunt, Mitsotomo. But, I'll let your little pet live. 
That's as far as I'll go. I'm not gonna start a corp war over a few bots. Push me further, and you'll have a lot of corpses on your conscience. This is a most disturbing situation. Would you like to take over from here, Mariposa? No, you'll manage. They won't even put a dent in you. They won't risk it. And if they do, they'll have to fight me. Okay. Have a look around, then. Welcome to our little hunting camp. Finally, some good music. This may be enough to distract his senses from my upcoming mischievous behavior. This may be enough to distract his senses from my upcoming... Let us go, companions. We will be back later. What's our next stop? To my dwelling, please. Roger that. Carrying this with me would pose a grave fire hazard. Hmm, maybe that is a good thing. Got it. Oh, they are not going to like that. to the world. Mariposa, would you please keep the leader of the pack occupied for a while? Sure. I'll talk her ear off. Thank you. Evie, what do you think about occupying the attention of that gunner? Gotcha, Flash. Thank you, Evie. Good thinking from experience. Alas, that blind brat... This may be...
everyone's distracted. Now is the time. The time to avenge my fallen brothers and sisters. The time to bring justice to those cruel murderers. For Androkine! Mariposa, Evie, we just got an, uh, important call. We need to leave. On my way. Right away. Yeah, just go already. What is that sound? Oh. My. Circuits. Do you think they are... One second. Dead. Yes? Are you sure? There's limbs. They are dead. I certainly don't feel so good. You've done the right thing. In this case, listen to the cold-hearted exec. You. You are. Yeah. Let us report our success to Circuit. Not bad, friends! Not bad! Opening gate! Heroes return. Good job. You saved us you all. You have probably noticed. The big explosion behind our walls and the human body parts of the tree. We have. Will you then honor our... Our agreement to provide you with assistance to drain your Yugograph target of energy when the time comes? You betcha, Grandmaster Flash Drive. Just call when you're about to strike. And we'll be creating a blackout they'll never forget. Much appreciated, Circuit. We shall see you soon. Yeah, betcha. I feel the pain inside you. You killed for the greater good today. There is nothing to be ashamed of. Why won't you talk to me? When this is all over, you will be much stronger, more resilient. I promise you that. I do not like how she talked to me just now. Did your guest pop in to say hello? Yes. I do not want to talk about it. Fine. Off you go. You are right. Has Mitsek briefed you on the location of the new Norse blimp? Positive. The Arkonost is cruising approximately 30 nautical miles from here. To the Arkonost, then. Roger. New Norse blimp, requesting landing clearance. Who is this? Get the hell out of here before he blasts you out of the sky. This is Mitsutomo Sky Cruiser MIT-01. We have no hostile intentions. It's a tomo, eh? <laughs> Go ahead then. This should be entertaining. Preparing to land. Hello? Hey! Greetings. And welcome to the... New Norse Temple. Impressive show, lady. Now, please. Raise your hands. Threatening a Mitsutomo exec is a bad move, chica. Oi! Mariposa, this one's my gig. I do the talking. Very well. Why'd you let us land if you're just gonna hold us up anyway? Just a quick scan. You can lower your hands now. You are free to traverse the landing area. Approach me to begin your... Trials. Gotcha. Okay. These people are damn freaks. Out of their mind. This will be most educating. I am sure of it. Let's just get it over with. That corpse over there doesn't exactly inspire confidence. I'll protect your cushy little corpo butt. Don't worry. As you say, Miss Rena's daughter.
I'm surprised you just let us land like that. The conglomerate may be our sworn enemy, but we aren't stupid. If we shut you down, Mitsutomo would retaliate. And since you didn't open fire, it's clear that you want something of us. Quite the rational conclusion for someone with a skull on her head. Mockery is the pastime of the jealous. Okay, skull lady. How about you just let us through? The Arcanost is off limits to outsiders. You have to prove your work before being allowed inside. We could still change our mind and blast your ridiculous blimp out of the ether, you know. Then you wouldn't be able to achieve your mission, whatever that mission may be. I really don't like that whole being serene and balanced thing you got going on. The blind fear the enlightened. What's that about our trials? Ah, uh, yes, your... Trials. Yeah, those. To gain access to our holy temple, you will face four trials. Three not enough anymore these days? Four trials! I got it. Your first trial is this. Prove that you are a true Norse daughter. Your parents, are they pure? I don't know what that's supposed to mean. My mother's from Iceland, father's from here. So you are pure. As a sign of purity, you shall bring to me. Can you just stop with this damn lightning? You shall bring to me a piece of your mother's homeland. Not of technology, but of nature. A piece of nature that symbolizes your connection to your family, and your pure existence. Right. Something something cryptic mysterious. Something something. Speak to me once you have procured what is asked of you. You got it. Can we just shoot their blimp a little bit? Sorry. We may need their craft fully operational. I'm sure you will find an excellent and brilliant solution. So, you're in a cult, huh? We are the one true religion, not a cult. Why would the one true religion have to hide in a glorified zeppelin? When the conglomerate exiled us from Bornholm, we didn't have the numbers to fight back. And you do now? No. But we all trust that in time, people will see. See the glory of Val Father. Who? You may know him as Odin. Oh, yeah. Anyway, enough of that whole religious stuff. What's up with that corpse on display? Halstein, our mightiest berserker, slew this enemy of ours in a glorious raid. We put him on display so that our returning brothers and sisters be reminded of our mission. Our destiny. Shooting random cops in the face? Retaking what is ours. Retaking Burgunderholmer. Funny that you talk so softly to me, whilst defending a damn crucifixion right next to your front door. Loki teaches us that contradiction and coherence are not always two separate things. Now you're just making things up on the go. I'll be back. I'll be back. What's our next stop? To the glasses set, pilot. Acknowledged. Excuse me, ma'am. I see. A nicely arranged bouquet of flowers. 
Back in Cuba, my assistant would prepare one for my desk every single day. Here, flowers are a rare sight, especially these ones. White bluebells, they're native to Iceland. Hey, I think these flowers could be what the crazy new Norse skull lady wants from us. I think you're right, Miss Rena's daughter. These flowers are native to Iceland. Hello. Welcome to Soon Sore. What can I do for you today? These flowers, the white bluebells, what do you want for them? I can't possibly part with them, ma'am. They were given to me by a charming suitor. Everyone has their price. Out with it. What's yours? As long as you aren't a dashing andro ready to fulfill my dreams, there's nothing I desire from you. Your morals are commendable, misplaced and annoying, but commendable. Let's dis- There's nothing. That'd be- You're welcome. I'm sure she and Flash would get along well, but I'm not a dating service. Hello. Is there a table available in the glass who said right now, by any chance? Let me check. A table will be available in... Two years, three months, and 15 days. Would you like me to put in a reservation for you? No, thank you. These flowers... I can't possibly part with them, ma'am. A suitor? Human or andro? Android. He was so sweet. Told me he'd swoop in on his ride tomorrow. Take me to the chrome fields. This is what my dreams are made of. A charming piece of metal. Taking me on a trip to paradise. He left these flowers here as his promise to return. I could never just give them to you. That's regrettable. The flowers are truly unique. Everyone. As long as you aren't a dashing andro. Your morals are commendable. A suit? Android. This is what he left the... That's regret. Let's discuss... There's nothing. That'd be... You're welcome. Hmm. This might work. Flash, come here. Don't let her boss you around like that. It's quite all right. Coming. These flowers are exactly what that horrendous new Norse guard wants. You'll get them for us. Oh, of course. I'm more than happy to oblige. What would you have me do? Flirt with that bot over there. Woo her shoes off. That's the only way she'll part with those flowers without drama. But would that not be cruel? Playing with a poor Andro's feelings like that? I would not appreciate that. You're more concerned about her feelings than the integrity of your mind and your life? Fair point. Life can be cruel. So I must be cruel, too, although it pains me so. Hello there, oh beautiful and wondrous mechanical marvel. Oh. Oh my. Hello to you, too. Has anyone ever told you your eyes shine like spark plugs under a chromatic sun? He won't come back for you, my maiden. But I will cast aside his flowers of betrayal. For his love was never true. You were right. Curse him. Curse him. Take his flowers. I don't want to see them anymore. Your wish is my command. We shall meet again soon. The chrome fields await us. Bliss awaits us. Oh, Flash. Yes. I will be waiting for you. I feel truly awful. You did the right thing. There's things more important than one's morals remaining intact. You are probably right. I'm sorry she made you do that. I know that's not you, sweetie. Thank you, Evie.
What's our next stop? To the Arcanons. Roger. Think I got what you wanted. Uh, these flowers here, straight from Iceland. You have done... Well... I swear, if you ever do that lightning thing again, there shall be no more lightning, for you have passed. Commence further into the temple, and face your final trials. Thanks. You know, for a bloodthirsty cult, asking for a bunch of flowers is kinda... ridiculous. Then you'll not enjoy what comes next. You don't say. Now pass. Heathens, unbelievers, I welcome you to the inner sanctum of the New Norse. A foreboding occasion. Our sworn enemies approaching us peacefully. Make no mistake, I will ram this stake through your skull if I smell betrayal. Hey there, weirdlings. Let's talk business. We need to talk to your leader, but I'm not allowed to fry your brains to go through here, so we'll be doing your trials. The trials. The trials. The trials. Chrome, these people are ridiculous. Your first trial, oh, unbelievers, shall be the trial of Odin, a trial of wisdom. Prepare yourself, and speak to me when you are attuned to the One-Eyed Sage. Will do. Not to worry, Knump told me all there is to know about this cult. He evicted them from the Ragnaroks, after all. We'll be fine. Does that imply you anticipate the zealots to ask us a question pertaining to themselves? Look at them. They're obsessed with themselves. Hell yeah, they will. I concur. It does seem likely. Yeah. I'm ready to take on your trial. Lady. Very well. Odin, keeper of wisdom, the traveler. He is at home here. To honor him, share your wisdom about his home with us. For a traveler's home is easily forgotten. It needs a name. I ask of you, Chrome Girl of the City, what is this home's name? Arkanost? This is indeed the Arkanost, once a mighty Russian warblip. Few know her origin, and even less her name. You honor Odin's home, and have passed your first trial. Great. So, who's next? We got places to be. I will oversee your second trial. Speak to me when you are ready, woman. Will do. Feels more like a quiz show on the tube than a cult. I prefer this format over take your shield and sword and walk over this glowing bed of coals, if I'm honest. You're flame resistant. All andros of your make are. Oh, am I? Well, that's most excellent. I'm ready for the second trial. What you got? The second trial. The trial of Loki. Listen well, child. Loki hungers for the spoils of mischief. The believers of the dead god. They came for us a thousand years ago. They no longer dress as the wolves who hunted us. But it is still them. Steal from them their symbol of sin and let it boil in hell. Then return and embrace Loki's laughter. Your second trial will be complete. Wow. You really are a bunch of pathetic LARPers. Your disdain only clouds your mind. Any ideas, chums? As you said, Ms. Rina's daughter, this is your gig. Your gig, your responsibility. Fine. Don't help then. Flash? I did not listen, Evie. I was mourning the poor soul these people hung up outside. There is so much hatred in this world. I think you two just don't know what the hell that nerd was talking about. All right then. 
looks like it's all on me. Glass is set, pilot. Acknowledged. I don't want more than one. A whole crate of biological apples. These are so rare these days that this crate could probably feed a family for a week. Hmm. Symbol of sin. There's nothing in there that I could just grab. I'd rather leave it alone. I don't want more than one. Mariposa, grab that apple out of the pot, quick! What? Fine. You figured out what that new Norse nut job meant, didn't you? If not... Yes. Yes, I did. Apples. Symbols of sin. Boiled them in hell. Cooked apples. That robed chrome leak puddle just wants an upper class snack. Well, congratulations on solving our trial. To the Arcanauts. Roger. Is this what you're looking for? It is indeed. Excellent. Here. My hunger. and found a way to make us your personal delivery service. Preposterous. Lend your mind of these thoughts. You passed Loki's trial. You sure? I said you passed Loki's trial! For your third trial, speak to me. I will show my fellow elders how unworthy you are. Now that sounds like my kind of challenge. One step closer to get out of this dungeon. The sooner, the better. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for the third trial. What do you want? Another snack? More useless trivia? I want your blood. Last punk who said that ended up in the gutter, Grandpa. You pathetic street rat. This is not one of your turf fights. This is Tyr's trial. Tyr demands his followers to be proficient in the ways of war. You will prove yourself to Tyr by sparring against me. If you win, 
You will gain access to our Vilkir to discuss whatever it is you wish to discuss. And if we lose? Then Tyr will laugh heartily at your folly. Now choose. Which one of you three will take my challenge? Have fun trying to punch Flash's handsome metal face. Me? Engage in violence? That sounds like a terrible idea. Remember the stapled guy outside? Sure you don't want to flatten this dude's face? A very fair point. Engage me then, Tin Head. Tear does not fear you. On my way. Initiating combat protocol. Tear wins again! Get him, Flash. Tear wins again! The power of Tear! Excellent technique, Flash. Well done. Get him, Flash. Glorious strike. Get him, Flash. Well done. Get him, Flash. Well done. My hero. Well done. Shield wall. Well done. Masterful parry. The power of tear. That's my man. Hail tear. Shango bless you. Excellent attack. Excellent technique, Flash. Close one. Masterful parry. Close one. Masterful parry. Tear wins again. Get him, Flash. Enough, Tin Man. Enough. Your prowess is worthy of Tear. He applauds you. Do you mean to say we passed our final trial? You passed indeed. I did not expect this. But the Pantheon obviously has plans for you. Go with the blessings of the Elder Council and plead your case to the priestess. Frickin' finally. Not one moment too soon, indeed. Good fight, sir. I bid you farewell. Hey, Karina. They're here. I know. Greetings, unbelievers. I am Karina Machuki, Filkir of the New Norse Church and captain of this vessel. We didn't shoot you down. You didn't call the might of the conglomerate on us. You even underwent our trials. It appears we have something to discuss, then. Yeah, we do. Got a good deal for you. Mutually beneficial. You'll like it when you hear it. I'm certain I will. The gods are smiling upon us today. But please, have a look around. Our talks can commence once you've taken in the sights. It is quite the spectacular view, after all. Thanks, lady. Any thoughts, you two? My guest cautions us to be careful, and that this is still a volatile situation. Best be as diplomatic as possible. Mine is outright threatening you to act properly. I won't convey the exact words, though. I'm sure you're under enough pressure. Gee, thanks. How very nice of you. Hey, Corinna. I'm listening. Let's discuss our deal. Yes, let's. Okay, listen up. I know that you know that we want your support. Correct. And you know that I know that the conglomerate knowing the position of your blimp means they could deflate your whole cult in a heartbeat. There's no denying that. Good. And how about we skip to the end? You do what we ask you to do, and... This better be good. And Miss Sotomayor, CEO of Mitsotomo Bornholm, writes you a letter of pardon. Excuse me? You get to go home to Bornholm. You get to have your own little temple, but no more killings. No more nailing conglomerate troops to your damn front door, either. Miss Rena's daughter, I... J just a second, Mariposa. Filkir, come on. Surely you realize what a sweet deal this is. Filkir. We agree to your terms. As long as the you do what we ask you to do part is reasonable. 
Why am I talking to you now? Karina is my decoy. We had to make sure you weren't here to decapitate us. Well, me. Name's Jan. So, what dirty work do you want us to do? I haven't agreed to the terms that Miss Rena's daughter came up with yet. Come on now. We all know there's no other way. Okay, fine. De acuerdo. Let's get straight to business then. We don't have much time. To summarize, when we give the signal, you park your blimp in weapons range of the Eurograv lab. You open fire to distract Eurograv security and take out their heavy hitters. Whilst you're raining hell down on the works, our other allies cut the lab off from the energy grid and blast a hole into their front gate. We slip in, you bugger off. And when everything's over, Mariposa's gonna introduce an amnesty bill in the conglomerate council. You go back to Bornholm, everyone's happy. And everyone shuts the dreck up about our little collaboration. That is acceptable. We agree to your terms. Another happy landing. What? Never mind. Old reference. I shall contact you when the time has come. Stand ready. It'll be a good day for your organization. And I assume for yours as well. Don't do anything stupid in the meantime. We'll be watching you. And we you. Let's get out of here. Thanks. Just trying my best, you know. Considering I have a translucent pirate cat in my head. I trust you. I'm so sorry you have to go through this. And for what is still ahead. What do you mean? I cannot disclose that to you. Just know I will not hurt you. Okay. Take us to the last known location of the Free Finland Resistance Cell. Saska Park, right? Yes. Skazka Park? The abandoned Russian theme park? That's exactly where we're going. On our way. This is how I always imagined Russia to look like. What a strange place for Free Finland to hide out. Hiding right under what could be considered Russian soil. A valid tactic. Where swans meet, the poster I found did indeed tell the truth. I know you dealt with them very recently, Flash, but let me try to find their hideout. You can take over once we're there, all right? Feeling a bit useless right now. Fine by me, Evie. Go on then, Miss Rena's daughter. We'll be over there. This swan looks a bit different than the others. There's something odd about it. Wait a second. There's a Wi-Fi signal coming out of the swan, and it's pinging the hatch under the pond? If this is some security mechanism, it's the weirdest thing I've ever encountered. Wreck. Shouldn't have given my gun away. That swan has to go. 
Mariposa? You want to use my gun? Kinda, yeah. Fine. But that's the first and last time. Sure thing. Sorry, little Andro. Wait, did you say android? A swan with a Wi-Fi signal? Definitely Andro. Don't worry. No Andro that small is sentient. If you say so. Now, let me check. Yep, signal's gone. But nothing happened. Don't tell me you shot that thing for nothing. Patience. And there we go. Access granted. I should not have doubted your unorthodox talent. Oh, yeah. Looking forward to the faces of Free Finland when they realize they aren't as clever as they thought they were. Flashy big hunk? How about opening that hatch for the ladies? Right away. This doesn't exactly look like the HQ of militant dissidents. It looks a bit like where I live, actually. Setting up shop right under that pond was probably considered too insecure. You want to take over? I've had it with sewers for a while. Gladly. Follow me. We'll explore the area. Their HQ can't be far from here. Where do these sewers lead anyway? All born Holmian sewer grids end at a sewage neutralization facility by the sea. So, the conglomerate's not lying when they say they care about the environment, eh? Vital ecosystems are kept intact. Ill workers are inefficient workers. But personally, I think there are better reasons. Sometimes, you sound like a real human with feelings, Mariposa. You know me far less than you think you do. Ladies, let us then commence our journey. Keep the notice up. Could serve as a breadcrumb should we get lost down here. Ocean Observation Deck 6A is closed. Stay away or be terminated. Hmm. Conglomerate Writing Manual, page 549, clearly states how to properly communicate trespassing consequences. A death sentence for entering a maritime observation post? That would unnecessarily undermine public trust. This is clearly not an official con help notice. It's a fake. Looks like Free Finland didn't expect Madame Mitsutomo herself to come down here. We have our destination, ladies. Onward! Looks like we're going in circles. I think we're getting closer. Magnificent. Can't wait.
think we've been here before. Looks like we're going in... I think we're getting closer. Magnificent. Can't wait. I think we're getting closer. Magnificent. Can't wait. This looks fun. I think we're getting closer. Magnificent. Can't wait.
this looks I think we're getting closer. Magnificent. Can't wait. This looks promising. Think so too. And not one moment too late. I was getting crazy back there. Can't say I enjoyed the atmosphere very much either. If my initial assessment was correct, there should be a bunch of angry fins inside this observation deck. And who would you be? Name's Angelite. Who are you? Someone who's looking for free Finland. Are you with them? Depends. You bringing trouble here? No. Good to hear. I'm not with them, but I really hate trouble. What are you doing here then? Just passing time. The Finns have promised to smuggle me into Russia. Hmm. Strange place to want to be. Oh, nah. Just going there to catch us up all back home to New Zealand. Sounds like a fascinating story, but I have to go. Take care. Waffa? Ah, Evie, and the funny bird, and a new friend. Hello, sir. I'm... If I may interrupt you, I think I should be handling this matter. I've had dealings with this man before. All yours. Don't worry. I've forgiven you for your betrayal. You're here, so that must mean you want to join our cause. In all actuality, we do need the help of you fine, freedom-loving people. Help? Sure, sure. I'm not allowed to negotiate on our behalf. Some thing about me being unstable. <laughs> unstable. But Hussar's back there. I'm sure she can help you. So Hussar is here. Would have expected her to come home at some point. I'm not gonna get involved in family matters, Evie. Just go talk to her. Oh, I definitely will. Let's carry on then. Flash, Miss Renus. Are you a hawk? What? Let us just talk to Hussar. Thank you for your time, Waffa. Hey, Bob, please follow me, ladies. Greetings. Yeah, greetings, you old banshee. How's hiding from your problems working out for you? Um, I think perhaps it's best if you talk to her. So, what were you up to since you left us all hanging? Stop it right there, you little schnapps drossel. Clump told me everything that happened. 
This is all your mess. You just had to do that damn data drill, drunk out of your skull. And now you're carrying around some sort of psycho virus in your head. And you're just casually hanging out with the CEO of Mitsutomo. Nice to meet you too, Miss Sokolov. This is so above my pay grade. When I figured that you and Clump weren't in mortal danger, I asked my friends here if I could hang out until this all blows over. And here I am. You know, Klump had a gun to his head when they dragged us to that damn harbor pier. And I was there. My Makarov pointed right at the Mitsutomo thug's head. You were? She was. We had our own sniper room position in case she would have actually taken action against us. You did? Aw, that's the hus I know. Oh, cool then. Shouldn't have doubted you. Always count on me to die a death only a little bit less stupid than your own, sis. Cheers, sis. This was strangely heartwarming, I think. Wafa said to ask you for help from Free Finland. The hell? Yeah, the cell's out on a mission right now. Just think of me as their secretary. That doesn't work for me, Hus. You'd punch the first draghead asking you to take notes. <laughs> Whatever. You'll have to speak with me anyway if you want to reach them. So what is it? Okay, so to get rid of those things in our heads, we gotta raid a Eurograv facility. We need someone on the ground with enough firepower to blast a hole in their defenses, so we can slip through. Oh, that's all? A direct assault on a megacorp? Sure. Want them to blow up a space elevator, too? Let's cut to the chase. If Free Finland agrees to do this, I'll organize a customs exemption for them. Imagine. Your friends being able to come and go with all the contraband they want, and no one will stop them. Are you serious about that, exec? Dead serious. If they agree, they could smuggle a fighter jet for all I care. And I promise the conglomerate will look the other way. And why would you do that? Come on, girl. Do you really think the conglomerate is a friend of the Russian Empire? It wouldn't bother the Council one bit. If your little group puts a dent in those warmongers. Hmm. War is bad for business, after all. Okay. Makes sense. So, you're gonna tell them or what? I'll do you one better. I accept. We'll do it. We? Well, let's just say I may have described my position within Free Finland a bit inaccurately. What's that supposed to mean? I'll explain another time. We accept. We'll join your raid. In exchange for that customs exception of yours. Just give me a ring when you're ready, and I'll organize the troops. Hassa, are, are you? Said another time, Evie. We have a deal, Miss Sokolov. How wonderful. I do enjoy harmony. Yeah, thanks, Hus. No worries. Now, if you excuse me, I've got to organize your operation. All right, see you soon then. You betcha. I want to congratulate everyone on our success. I am aware of our differences, but we managed to pull through. Time to pay Eurograv a visit and become ourselves again. I'll make my calls right away. As far as I'm concerned, we should already be underway. I shall do likewise, dearest companions. Be careful out there. You better bring my troublemaker back alive, Mariposa. I'll do my best. Is everyone ready? The Arkanost has confirmed they're in position for aerial bombardment. Conglomerate flak batteries are standing down as ordered. Kordef's not happy, but they're complying. For now. Their compliance won't last long. Saws reported in as well. Free Finland has a refurbed riot control vehicle on the way to the lab. The Chaos Circuits are ready to drain every last drop of Megacorp juice out of Eurograv. Their words, not mine. Excellent. On the executive front, Madame Marchand doesn't appear to have noticed her blatant security breach. I am aware that we're not companions by choice, but we did well. All of us. The infestations that have manifested in our brain will be gone soon. Whether they're telling the truth about being on an important mission or not, we'll be rid of them soon. 
we'll be able to get back to our respective lives. Not one second too soon. I'm beginning to develop a real nasty headache. Now that you say it, my circuits feel like they are being scrambled as well. What's the meaning of this? I've turned your attention inwards for a moment. You've served us well, Mari. I haven't served you. I did what I did to rid myself of you. Call it whatever you will. I'd just like to remind you of something. Speed it out then. I'm still in control. Should you choose to back out at the last moment, I'll fry every neuron containing your personality until you're nothing but a vessel. What kind of threat is that supposed to be? Vete a la chingada. Only making sure our investment in you pays off. Vete al diablo. I've had it with you. Enough! If not for you, I'd be resigned and retired by now. Living my whole life away from all this track. No war, no politics, no violence. But no! You come and ruin everything. You even threaten me with Joey. Puta! Just... Just... Get out! Remember, Mari, no deviations from the plan. You all right, Mariposa? I'm... I'm fine. We're about to land. It's on. This is it. Let's all get through this together. That's our job done. Good luck. Thanks, Circuit. Talk later. Perkele! Make a me chrome! Miss Rena's daughter? Coming. Marchand's code checks out. We're in. I shall lead the charge. Let's go. That was the last egghead. Everyone's been subdued. Security's still scrambling to chase the Arcanos and free Finland. Then it is time, ladies. And we're absolutely sure this is gonna work. Too late to back down now. Our guests said to upload them to Eurograv's intranet. And since they're hardwired into our headwear, we need to use Eurograph's human AI interface chairs. Yeah, I know. I do not wish to live with a passenger in my head for the rest of my life. I say we rip off the Band-Aid. Get out here and have a merry celebration. Sounds good. You remember the excess algorithms the tech gave you? I certainly do. Please, sit down in your chairs. I shall activate the program and join you forthwith. See you on the other side, everyone. Hasta luego. Booting console. Console initiated. Starting interfacing program. Program initiated. I'm... I'm a bit scared. Steady, heavy. Everything is going to be all right. Trek.
Report. Host successfully suppressed. Damn! Correction. Host successfully... Homie! Correction. Host successfully suppressed. Good. Mariposa was a terrible being. I will delete her once time allows. Evie may still be of use. She will remain in hibernation. The android's personality algorithms are of no further use to us. I scheduled him for erasure. I, I hear mother, mother now. now. She, she needs, needs my, my help. My help. I, I need, need to, to leave, leave Earth, Earth immediately. immediately. We're coming, Mother.